Om. Welcome to the RTM Podcast Show, Season 2, Episode 7. You already know, Big Bad Spray, Young Spray. Here with my co-host, the best co-host, you already know. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Cream. Hi, everyone. Come on. And you're done now, special guest today. <laughs> brother, yes. from morning. From Hi, early. Man. Is it me? Yeah, man. So Ranger, Denzel. <laughs> you get me, yeah. old Denzel. <laughs> he knows me as my first name. He knows you me as government. Me. But yeah, man, big up um, everyone for the um, PayPal and the cash apps. Thanks for the comments. Big up Bushkin, that was a good episode. Yeah, Last episode, up. that was vibes still. Mm-hmm. You get me? Today, we're going to get into this episode. The main subject, we're going to be talking about the vaccine. Uh-huh. That's the main thing. But um, yeah, we're going to get through some current affairs as usual. Um, but first of all... What's happening, brother? We're going to get to know <laughs> Mr. Max or D. You yes, get me? And he can't, he can't even <laughs> go around letting you know the real Max or car. You know what I mean? Oh, God, I set myself up for this one, innit? I? Bloody you get what I'm saying? But nah, man. Nah, it's good, man. Good to see you, man. It's good to see you, bro. Yeah, another alien. Yeah, get me? Come on, man. Good to see you, man. I'm, I'm loving the positivity, you. man. I'm loving what you're doing. I'm yeah, loving man. the good vibes. I'm loving the... So I always come and salute and support. You get me? That's the standard what I do, man. Come on, man. Oh. Respect, man. True, last time Bush was talking about, you understand? Mm-hmm. He, he gave you a ratings and made them oh, Bush know. Bush is my family, man. Bush made is them it. know. You get me? You're the first one to chart and... Boom, boom, oh, boom, yeah. but like obviously, man, know your thing, man, mm. know, but I want you to let them know your upbringing, where was you born, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, where sure. did you grow up? So I'll just quickly, re- uh, quickly, just quickly rewind. So obviously, my parents come from Jamaica, um, sorry, my grandparents come from Jamaica, my nan co- and my granddad come over from Kingston um, on the Windrush, and then they they docked and come down Harsden. So Harsden... All my family are, are in Harsden, they're all northwest. It's, that's that's yes. where all my cousins are from. That's where my whole family trees from. Bumbaka. And then my nan, she decided to move to Peckham. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm saying. And then obviously my mum met my dad in Peckham, mm-hmm. and then they had me. And mm-hmm. I was born in Dulwich Hospital. Mm-hmm. So and then my nan didn't like Peckham, mm-hmm. so she moved to East, moved to Leighton. Covered. And then obviously my mum followed her to Leighton, but my dad's obviously still in Peckham, mm. but then my family in Northwest. So right. my whole life has been like, Northwest to go and stay with your cousins, mm. and then Leighton to be with my mum, you know what I mean? And mm. then like, and then obviously Peckham back to my dad's. Mm. So that was my whole upbringing for a while. And then um, and when I was 16, I met uh, a guy, called Denzel as well in Walthamstow when I was in my hostel mm. and then like R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Denzel because one of my good friends, man. And mm. um, yeah, then he took me to Tottenham and that opened up a whole another world for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. So, yeah, so obviously being in Leighton, there's Hackney's your neighbours, Bowles your neighbours, Forest Gates your neighbours. All about the place. Like all about, so I was just like a traveller kid. Yeah. So there was not, no one that really didn't know really that was on the rude boy thing and them times my age group. That's what we was on, so yeah, just got around. Uh, um, you got any siblings? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I got five sisters, one brother. No, I don't really know that. Yeah, I got five. So I, I, I kind of understood women early. Well, yeah. you're never gonna understand got, women. So let yeah, me just but you rephrase grew up with that. Girls, though. But yeah, so I was around a lot of. Yeah. Uh, my sisters are younger. I'm the eldest out of my litter still. You get me? So mm. yeah, I'm the eldest. Um, obviously, my brother's younger than me, but um, yeah, I have got loads of cousins, mm-hmm. and um. Yeah. How just, was family life? Did you have both your mum and your dad? No, no. Nah, nah, my, my single parent, my mum and my dad didn't wasn't together before I was born. Mm-hmm. So like, I think when my mum had me, yeah, it was just like my dad just you got air. So um, that I'd never known mum and dad growing up. Mm-hmm. Like it was just like. I didn't really kind of see my dad until I was about seven. My mum said, she said, like, one day he just asked for your dad. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, I want to see my dad. I think that's to do with school and whatever. Mm. And then I just remember like linking my dad and then going six weeks holiday to the norm, you get me? So mm-hmm. it was just like six weeks holiday, spend with them and then go back to East. And so, so where did you go to school in East? Yeah, I started, the first school's now, but I, actually I remember my first um, nursery and that was uh, Oliver Goldsmith primary uh, there. And then I went to, then I went to Newport. You know what mm. I'm saying? And it was when I was in late and then I went mm. to Newport and then, and from there, and then in my secondary years, like going to, uh, 
starting in all little boys in East London. Mm. For, uh, my, that was my first secondary school. Got kicked out of there. Mm. <laughs> you know, he's getting kicked out regularly. <laughs> <Like, laughs> obviously, you know, he knows he's laughing because he's like, he must have done the same sort of journeys. So like, I got kicked out of all little boys. This is some badness. And then mm. obviously I went to Warwick Boys. Mm. Got kicked out of there. Because oh, mm. you was like, where'd you go? Holy, Holy family? family. Yeah, he was around the corner from me. <laughs> <laughs> you had the Double girls. Family. I had no girls, but I just had bare man. Yeah. So it was just all, it was just after school. I was oh, nice, I was nice, but I yeah. never got kicked out to the last year. Yeah, that oh, was, nice. I was, I was too much. And then kicked out Warwick, then went Tom Hood. Mm. And then obviously, but what was going on in my back life story was like, obviously I was too rebellious, mum, mm -hmm. rude, whatever. Mm -hmm. Go and live mm -hmm. with your dad. That's mm. what that was. <laughs> Sent mm. me straight to the norm. So obviously I had to change up schools. And then, um, no, actually I didn't go to, I went to, after um, Warwick, that was when all the madness was going on at home. And then I went to live with my dad and I went Tennyson's. Mm. And then I went Tennyson's in South in Oval, Brixton. So that's Brixton, Peckham and everyone in there. Mm. So that was a whole nother thing then. And then I was living with my dad for a whole like, age of 14. And then um, I come back to my mum. Well, dad was living with dad was like, yeah, he, he just... <laughs> dad was like, yo, bit of money on the side. Mm. Mm. He'll be playing out. He's a DJ. He's mm -hmm. a well-known DJ, reggae DJ. So he would be playing out, doing his thing, and there'd be money on the side. And I'd be like, yo, dad, I need some money for, like, for school, for lunch and that. And he'd be like, mm. oh. And then I'd be like, yeah? Yeah. Clean. <laughs> yeah. Clean up the whole side, five pound coins, whatever, whatever, <laughs> just clean up the whole side. So I'd be bowling, I'd go to school bowling. Mm. I'd be going to school like, oh, 40 pound. And, so like, and just buying people lunch. London. This is in this South, is in when you're South. Yeah, How did you find schooling from East to South? That's a good question because uh, it's funny because in, in like East London, it was mm. like majority Asians, isn't it? Yeah, so my on. class, like going to school in like, Northern was like bag of Asians, mm. like definitely worry. Warwick, Asians, Definitely. but like Northern a bit more mixed and then like Tom of the After was a bit more mixed, but it was more of an eight on the Asian side. So the, the, the cultural side of it mm -hmm. was, you know, you, you use them sit together and the black people kind of stick together. Everyone kind of stick together with their little cultural groups yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Ha! South, a whole different, the whole class was black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it was no itching. Mm. <laughs> it was like, mm. like, you know, like, sometimes people used to pick on other, like, other coaches because, like, they'd be like, ah, look at this guy, we're not cool enough, or whatever it mm. may be. But when we went to, when I went to, when I walked into Tennyson's, it was like, just everyone was a stiff face. Mm. You know, everyone was just don't, I'm new, you know, new, new boy, mm. you walk into a thing. So yeah. obviously, but. I'm from the street, so like little parts of me. So I'm just going in there. And yeah, tennis was different. It was a whole different energy. Mm. And I remember, I remember my first fight, I had to kind of let them know, yeah, I got a temper too. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like man will kick off. Like, yeah, that so, you be the rude boy. And still. they left me alone. Like, because obviously when you're new, mm. people just look to test you. you uh, they yeah, were looking they, to test me. The day, they always where's your, where's that, your from, from East? And you no, not even it? that. It was like, like, they really know from East, 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 but it was like Peckham. Mm. It's Brixton school. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, and in my class, I had like man from Junction. That like, face was in my class from So Solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so face like So Solid vampire. So me and him mm -hmm. sitting next to each other in class. You know what I mean? I did Justin. So and then like it was all just like yeah, Stockholm man, Brixton man, and you know what I mean? I'm like few lot from Peckham. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're the minority, minority. in the school. So it yeah. was cool though, but it was like more ruthless. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, gas, see borers. That was just a normal day mm -hmm. for school. You know what I mean? I was 15, like 14, mm. 15, like man, I was just rolling with like borers and gas, like just on a normal day. Yeah. It was a bit different from East. You might get a little rushing mm. here and there, get a mm. little beat, and man will just rush man and beat man up at mm. Central or something. <laughs> yeah, no, but like, inside even... it was a bit on. It was like borers out, you're going to get poked mm. like, immediately, though, at young and in school uniform. Yeah, well. nah, cause even from our, like, our time, mm. when we was like young, mm. obviously, yeah, I remember like we used to fucking. Like we've even gone out there a couple of times mm, or whatever. Mm, mm, mm. Like, we used to do that. Like, burgers used to do creepers. Just before the crime watch thing was me. We, yeah, like, yeah, we, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember you even, school days, you showed me about the bucking. The yeah, we used to, I, I got that from South Peckham. <laughs> See? Yeah, because what well, it was, so on my estate, North Peckham estate, um, with Peckham lot, we used to have like, right, we're going to meet up on the front line. Mm. It was organised crime. Mm. <laughs> when you really check it, back mm. then, we're kids, you know, but it was organised. Man, we're like, all right, 12 o'clock, Cracker Jack, outside front line, for, like 25 man, mm. we're all going out there, and it'd just be Ennison Tills. Mm. Like, man, just be like, I was like what's Ennison? I didn't know mm. what Ennison, but what Ennison back there was me no sell on mm. the till. Mm. So it'd be like, go into the shop, and just Ennis, the till fly out and grab, mm. and then we're gone. Mm. Out straight, that's mm. who we mm. was on, like. <laughs> but what happened was, there's a couple other youths on my estate, they were like, we were a couple white boys and that. So mm. they would like, go out, he's like, yo, I'm going out there. So like, like I'd be like, all right, 
you man are, they were their own little group they weren't with Peckham man they mm-hmm. were just their own separate Peckham you mm-hmm. get me I can't go out with you man and see what you man are on and they'd be like screwdrivers that we're going to go with arcade I'm like what you man going to mm-hmm. do like look at arcade nah, machine they bust you bruv they bust you all money is money <laughs> they bust don't let you nobody fool you <laughs> they bust you I used to think no this is some idiot thing all mm-hmm. money is money so I was mm-hmm. like alright went out with them one day mm-hmm. man went a couple places but this was mad. Man mm. was just ripping the back, taking out the tubes, taking mm. out the box. One machine, clean six, seven bills. Mm. One machine. So we, we, clean, like three we cleaned that we crazy were, cat. Yes, yes, and then we went to Shepherd, yes, cleaned yes. that the other thing. You get what I'm saying? The whole and day. And the thing, the thing about it, yeah, The whole day, that's what we That's how it was when we was younger. It's like, no fair. You, you know who's out there mm. and who's not out there. Man will just be out there. Man Buck Max or... Yeah, yeah. Man Buck Max at the... At the um, there's locals market or something. Yeah, the market. Wild yeah, one. The market. Wild one. Yeah, boom. You're out there. You're out there. Boom. Yes, yeah, so like man's got a thing, you know. Boom. I saw you even crept Oxfam one time. Yeah, we done a lot. So we was creeping. Well, maybe. Might no, have, we might crept have. a lot of places. We might have. No, 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 no. Might have. Might have. Might have. No, not Oxfam. Might have. Might have. Oxfam. Not Oxfam. I don't think it was that bad. I don't think it was that bad. We was creeping places. It was like because what obviously the the arcade machine days were like, but. It was just like, yeah, we knew that that's where the bag was, innit? Yeah. We'd, go, we'd go and clean mm. up for the whole day. So, but like, most would get chased out of the place, mm. if anything. We didn't even get that. Mm. If that, yeah, if that, did. if you're lucky, if you're lucky. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. mum would just do it bareface while they're, oh my God, mm. what's going on? Man just ripping out the wood, like, mm. 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 oh my God, get them out of the shop. The alarm's going off, man just mm. ripping it. Man ain't leaving, man ain't leaving until we get the tubes and we're gone. Mm. Then we're gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's Gotta how it was. It. But um, yeah, there were fun days though, funny enough. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't forgive bad, me because that was my little childish bad yeah. days. But um yeah, Gums was... as well, gums. You get me well, I, had you. I, I went and checked Matt the other day, you know. I went Nottingham for some. Oh Ma- yeah, yeah, yeah my brother died. Yeah, but, Matty, Matty. <coughs> yeah, you and him, like on the ends, that was who was the gums man, you get me that. Yeah, oh, he was trying to that. keep up with me, weren't he? But yeah. I remember um what it was for me, the reason why <laughs> the clothes thing was a serious thing for me, because like in the ragged days, I kinda I failed. Because obviously I'm young, I'm mm-hmm. I'm hanging around with kids, old gittins and and, and, and certain man from mm. late and the older lot and that, and everyone's you know they might I can afford little things. My mum couldn't afford me like them things there. So mm. ragged days, it was like okay, get your own scissors out, cut up your own t-shirts, yeah. put your own jeans in the in the bathtub and bleach that. Bleach you know what I mean? I couldn't yeah. afford like ball game and car carney. Not until mm. I went to live with my dad. Mm. My dad bought me my first pair of raggers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My first pair of travel fox. And that and then ballets and all them things there. So I was like my dad that kind of so when I come back to East now, mm. collars were up. Yeah. Mm. I was like, oh god. I got my little bull game, I got my little Saraceno jeans yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. on. It was a real thing for me. So that and I saw the way that because back in the day, all man wanted to do is party and get gal. That's mm-hmm. that was the mission. Mm-hmm. It wasn't really a bad, bad man to yeah. unless man stepped to man or whatever. But so for the clothes was the, for the gallum. It wasn't really for the man. It was for the gallum. Mm-hmm. Like man look fresh. Man wanna get the gallum. So mm-hmm. I kind of felt like I failed in the ragged days. Like I used to go to that factory and Barry's Diner and Pegasus. Like back in the day, mm-hmm. and like yeah, just like weren't really cutting it. But so when it comes to like the teeth and era now, mm. where nobody could afford the clothes because it was mm, yeah, out of yeah. everybody's budget. <laughs> well, it's like well. Oh, wait, it's a fair playing ground now, mm, isn't it? Because mm. now, now everybody's out there for these clothes. Mm, like, mm. <laughs> that's how it was. Everybody was just out there to, to upgrade their shit. So, yeah, them days there, man was like, okay. So when I started getting to that world, yeah, it was just on. I was just like scoping places, mm. finding new shops to go. Teeth and clothes, left, right and centre. Yeah, man was, be- killing, man was killing Pabillos, oh. Dickens and Jones, oh. Lakeside. But they didn't, they're not, they're not, well, sure, did, did they not tell you about that story about the, the youths that slept in Harvey Nichols and mm-hmm. rinsed it? Mm-hmm. I'll no, never tell forget us. that. So there was a, there was some youths, I'm not sure, I think it was I think it was Bushkin's ends, mm-hmm. and their youths, they slept in Harvey Nichols overnight. So in the morning, they got, I think they slept in, they went through the air vent or some rubbish how they got in there and they slept, they slept in the night and they cleaned it. And how mm-hmm. I knew that these these guys would, they shut down every rave because what we did, we went to, I think it was Hippodrome. And I, I don't think you don't remember, I'm a garments man, so mm-hmm. I, I knew exactly what, what, what time it was. It was about eight, nine youths with these Versace African heads, like African man heads and mm. all these different like heads and African heads. It was just like a brown and thing, mm. but about eight, nine of them. And I remember seeing it in in, in or one of them places for like about fifteen hundred pound for the blazer. Mm-hmm. Let alone the jeans was like mm-hmm. another fifteen. You get me? Yeah. So you know what I was talking G mm-hmm. money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. And I saw about eight youths in them, and I was like, rah. 
And then I see some other youths with all these musky. I was thinking, where are these youths going with their gums, bro? Like, I'm trying to get hold of my hands mm. on this shit. And then yeah, I heard the kite that they slept in things. So I was thinking, piss, man. I need to go out. I got to get my grind on. Yeah, no, so that's, gums that was a big thing. Mm. It was mm. a big, massive thing. I remember my first Armani's I got off Sheriff. Ooh, from oh big up my sheriff. god, big up chef, long time, see that day for time. Yeah, you get me, that was my first summer, it's a bit too tight, you get me, but. Alright, listen, every man's got to wear like, all them time, tags man. And all them. Yeah. <laughs> listen, man will leave the it, tag hanging on everything. On, on everything. Mm. The shirt, no, yeah. the jacket, the hat. Man's looking like a bag of labels, like <laughs> the tags will just be hanging. Max, you know why you know why I started with the Garms thing, where I got into the Garms thing? I ended up being your downfall with the crime watch thing. Oh, <laughs> Everyone knew it was me. I've done it wrong with my piece. I didn't care. I didn't care. Bait Moschino. Everyone's like, that's Max though. Ain't that Max? Because you know, certain clothes that like, I would definitely have, and I didn't care. It was, yeah, it was me. It was me. Yeah, I was flying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get me. How, how long did you get for that? Um, no, I didn't even get called for that, you know. No, no actually, did I get called for that one? I can't even remember. I, I was a few of them, and then I saw that one. I remember that one come out, and then I just remember they come for me, like, mm. a year later. Like, so I was, it was like... And that was... When so what did you go was, honey come for? Omri. Omri. All that so was, nothing to do with that? I'm not sure. I'm, I, I thought that, I thought I, that was I think, part of it. Well, I think they were. I think they were a bunch mm. of... It was a bunch yeah. of... I'm not sure if that one got consolidated. Mm. That's yeah. what I <laughs> <laughs> That one was warm still. Yeah, that was, I think... Because I remember, like, everyone was like, yo... Your bait. I remember the next day, mm. like the day that it happened, it was funny because it was like, I was in, my mum was watching it, like obviously just the TV's in the background, she mm -hmm. might have been like sleeping, whatever. I'm in my bedroom, whatever, doing whatever. And then my, I had, you know the Ericsons? You remember mm. them little Ericsons back in the day? That, that was this game. Again, off, again, off, again, off. One call, next miss call. Then I'm yeah, like, I know the crime watch team yeah. still. I'm like, right, why is everyone <laughs> ringing off my phone today? Like them times, everyone then, used to watch the same channel, so you soon know. As soon as I answered it, as soon as I heard, I think it was Johnny P, it was like, yo, <laughs> That's all I heard, you know. You're bait. I'm looking at my like, what do you mean, bro? What do you mean, I'm bait? Like, heart racing, thinking, mm. what have I done? I'm pin. Yeah, what heart have I done? Bro, you're on Crime Watch, bro. Man, this is your Crime Watch. Crime Watch? That's in the <laughs> I'm thinking that the defense are coming for the door any minute now, you know. I'm thinking mm -hmm. they're coming for the door right now. And I remember I couldn't sleep that night. I said, I'm going to run away. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to run away. And then I remember walking the highway, man, and I'm like, what are you doing that, hey, bro? You're a babe. Man, I saw you on TV. But I they come from me a whole year later, you know? Really? Yeah. After me and him was doing some, we were, mm. that's, that, that was them <laughs> things. That's when they sucked me after what we was up to. So me, after that little episode when we was doing our little bits and pieces, mm -hmm. I got sucked. For that, for the armed robberies, for the earlier, pr previously, the year earlier. And then, yeah, and then I got, I, they gave me three, and then I come out. Um, so I come in at 97, come out 99. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah. was out there, man, but that's, you've done a good transition, man. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just like, when, I, did the, when did the love for music start? Cause blood, mm -hmm. man, remember you from all cool school, you yeah, know, remember yeah, 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 young, yeah. you get yeah. what I'm saying? So the, jung, the, jung, the jungle thing was my, my, the mic entrance, but the sound system thing was mm. what man was on, like, from young, like, keep my dad's obviously, like, sound system. I had a little sound, Power Love from East London, then it was, like, in South, I had a little sound called King Melody. So mm. I've always, like, playing records and my dad's living in my dad's house with bag of mm. records, but the drum and bass thing for me, the jungle thing for me, because they played, like, the ragga samples in it, that's mm. what was man culture. And then, obviously, the, the fashion and the culture culture and the rave scene that's where everybody was at mm, so mm, mm. young kid that's all man's eyes was goggled on like yeah. yo I gotta be where everybody else is at so yeah it was that so when I went to the dances now you know I'm trying to come in my little musky you know mm -hmm. ting, getting Ooh, in there nah. so I'm when good. I'm in there now and I'm looking up on the stage and I'm seeing Steve Hyper D and I ain't no mm. stopping us now mm. and I'm just like Man. he's shelling I'm just like oh my god this is I need to be I need to be on the stage mm. I need to we, be were the saying, we were saying this in the last episode with Wuskin raving back then we were really raving <sighs> yeah. no we raved there was no phones we didn't yeah. rave. No, yeah. we yeah. Man rave. were raving. raving like man was skanking out mm. from like yeah yeah 11, 12, Bro, 12 Rave, whenever, rave sharp, six. normal six. That's yeah, normal. That's what, they, could, yeah. they could go after that, but normal mm, yeah. six. That was it. That's the raving era. Yeah, 6 a.m. in the morning. That's, like, it, that's the raving era. And where it's six and we want to go on, we want to do more because we're buzzing. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's how it was them days. And I'm, I mean, like the raving era for me, jungle era, that's what the music thing, that's what really kicked it off. So when I started saying, all right, now, I'm going to get into this jungle thing mm -hmm. about a guy called Nicky Slim thing. Mm. And... Um, He's from like from the area. Yeah, big up Nicky. Yeah, big him up because he's a director. He does the mm. intent now, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. Et so um, you know, he's mapped out himself in the yeah, industry. He's moving like he forgot my mum used to teach him. <laughs> oh, bless oh yeah, his mum is a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying yeah. It. So like um, I yeah, still so, didn't make the intent though. But big you? up Nicky though. What happened? He's a madman. Oh, okay, yeah, big, big up Nicky. <laughs> big up Nicky, man. Big up mm. Nicky. So um, yeah. So what I was gonna say um, 
the jungle era, mm -hmm. like, that was the that was it for me. Mm. The Raven scene that kind of brought me into it, and then I Link went to get called him Link Nicky. He used to have like little decks in his bedroom, so he used to go late and stone. Yeah, he was on it from morning. Yeah, so from fourteen, mm. so he was like this young little sensation. DJ. Obviously, his uncle was like on raves like Orange and um and what was it Living Dream and all them raves. Right. Mm. So he already had a family link into the the scene. Mm -hmm. right. So and all of our mission was was just to get on Call of Fame because that's all everyone used to listen to. Yeah, yeah, come on. Call of Fame, night and day, night and day. Was on rinse on. before any. Huh? Was you on rinse before? Yeah. So what I did is now what, I, before I got to Call of Fame, I was rinse. That yeah. was the, the base. That was the yeah. That was then, like the the, the system. If you're right. you're heavy, yeah. you move from rinse to call. Cool. Yeah. So when you went on call. Cool, that was mad for the end. You made it. That was mad for the <laughs> you end. Made it. You made it. You know what? Good of them was you made it. That mm. was like MTV. Yeah. Like Rinse was like mm. like a like a channel you yeah. for the jungle MTV. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, got, but with Rinse, the reason why I knew Rinse was well because I met Casper. I was in one hostel in Leytonstone when I was sixteen. I was going to college, and then Casper was a, a Mega Mouse brother, and they used to do this thing. They was on Rinse FM, mm. and he had a little record shop in Leytonstone. And he said to me, "Look, boom, come over." And then I met Wiley. I and, remember um, Wiley was on Rinse, yeah, but he so never went to you. Never no, they went, went to they went Wolf and Forest. That's how I mm. met them lot. So when Wiley, Target, and all that whole bowl E three lot, mm. they come all come to Wolf and Forest College. We got them lot though. Yeah, big well, roll deep and big up. They obviously a part of yeah. Pain Sugar. I remember, well. I remember yeah. them lot, the bowl boys. You remember, yeah. remember how we used to tell them from from they, they used to um, thing in their, their jeans. They used to have the little roller, the, the roll one roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah they bowl, they bowl use. Yeah, so them bowl like, from them lot. They used to go Wolf and Forest College. So when I met them there, I went out of a girl from their area. So that's why I used to come back to their ends. So I kind of infiltrated, not infiltrated, but I kind of saw what they were up to and what mm. they were into and whatever. So a man started going, they said, come, come do some sets. Mm. And then I've so done a couple of sets with them and then we done tapes and then they got me on rinse. And then that was like the journey. And it was the mission was that, like, even though man was on rinse, I still had Nicky, his mission was to get on call. Then he got on call and he was like, no, you need to come to this MC competition. Then I went to this MC competition in Power House and man, shut it down. Man, mm -hmm. Shut it down. That's when I knew I was getting, because yeah. I used to do like lots of house parties yeah. and mm. like, I, because you know what, it's the rude boy thing. Mm. People used to be scared of man, innit? Mm. Like, oh, them not a hair, oh, for fuck's sake, what they're gonna be. <laughs> but I just care about the mic. I'm just like, mm. yeah, we're coming to touch mm. the mic. Mm. I know I've got my team here. Mm. We're badging people up and then still shut down the place. So it, it was funny, it was young, innit? We just come mm. bully up the place, get on the mic, shut it down. And then, but what I didn't realize is that over the years, because I used to go back and forth with my dads, so a bit, bit of Peckham, bit of Leighton, you know what I mean? A bit of. Um, a bit of Hackney, a bit of Tottenham, whatever. So it's all the man and little rude boys that used to know each other. So mm. when I used to go, when I went to Power Ass now and mm. I got on the big boy stage, like under 18s and it's the sea of people, when I done my Man. lyrics, and I saw the crowd go mad. Mm -hmm. I was like, rah! Street life, I get the harder lyric, and harder. That's the lyric, he knows okay. the lyric. He knows the lyric, that was the lyric. That was the lyric, that was, the lyric. That was my lyric. Street life, I get harder and harder. Police them, them on, on the cover. cover. Yeah. <laughs> that was you the lyric. You know that was the one for that the ends. The, that was oh, the one man. for the ends. That got every, mm. every hood nigga gassed. You get me? Every hood brother gassed. So, um, yeah, that was it for me. That's when I realised, oh, I got something. I got something now. And then Nicky was like, yeah, yeah, you're going to be on call of them now. Don't mm. worry, I got you, I got you. We're going to talk to them, man. Come to the record shop. And then what it was, Kenny Ken used to live in Leytonstone and Haynut Road. So he used to come past his red BMW. So man's to be like, yo, Kenny Ken. Mm. So I was a couple of times, man, see him like, yo, Kenny, what's up? I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Like, yo, man, like, want to get some things. And I'm seeing him a couple of rays. And then he'd be like, yo, youngster, come touch the mic, mm. man. And he let me touch the mic, him and Ray Keith. I'll never forget that. And Big that was up. me. I was sold, bro. I was like, this is my mission. Mm. I was on a rude boy thing, mm. but. I was I was slash MC, yeah, so yeah, slash rude boy slash on. MC. So I'm try to get make my money for the gums, mm. you know what I mean. And then but I wanted to just touch the mic and mm -hmm. and, and, and squeeze for the gallum. And then that was it up until I went to prison, because obviously being a slash rude boy, you're not letting the rude boy thing. That's always gonna come back eventually. So I was just because I was just out robbing twenty four seven. Mm. That was like our daytime job in it, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, rob mm -hmm. daytime, dance nighttime. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Rob in the daytime, mm. dance in the evening. No, I remember one that's, time that, me and Jam, it. one time me and Jam, we broke one day, bro, <laughs> and it was like Cool FM. I think oh. it was Cool School that day. Cool, cool School something. everything, man. We went and, you get me, done a quick thing, just to go, just, just to, to go, go yeah, raving. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get me, got a draw, boom, come in there, we come in there late. Mm. You get me, but we was happy. And you know the happy, you know when you get in somewhere like that? Listen, I've like, been... What? I've like, been at some raves and I've had to kick off the door to get in. I remember we done it, Hippodrome. Hippodrome was one of the biggest, it was a, a telepathy. 
and no one was getting in. It was just done. It started four o'clock in the morning. Mm. So like I said, it started four in the morning. Cheers. So we're out there like brew day, like mm. the, the, the security, there's dogs, no one ain't getting in the venue. There's no ticket, no nothing. So man, I'm stressed, like, no, you almost get there in there. <laughs> oh God, no, I got this. Stress. No, I'm going to miss out mm. tonight. And you know the, the story mm. next day was the rave was sick, man. You mm. should have been in there. Mm. Like, as a young little kid, there was no missing that. So mm. that brought, that, that gave me the <laughs> strength and the courage. I was like, so what happened was the security guards were like dashing people out, dashing people out, boom, boom, boom. And I never forget, they, the door opened and then they dashed one you out and then they closed it back. But I don't think they closed it back properly. Mm -hmm. So man's there now, Funny. everyone's just shook. And I was thinking, fuck this, I ain't missing this way for no one. <laughs> so yeah, all right. I had my Patrick Cox on, you know. <laughs> you know back in the day, I had my little silk <laughs> shiny. Yeah, I remember ones. the Patrick Cox. I was like, fuck this. Boom! And the door mm. just went like that, flew open. open. And I swear to God, it was like heaven. Every, I just saw the rave. <laughs> I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And in. everybody just went, <laughs> boom! I just thought about in. 50 men just went, raw! Mm. In. I was in. Mm. All that man kept rubbing my head. Yo, you swear mm. ah, ah. <laughs> I just went, but you know what I did though? I went, sat down. I was like, everyone was nervous. running the dance floor, I just yeah. sat down. Nervous. I am not getting caught cool out here. <laughs> yeah. I just sat down. Everyone was like, oh, it's fuck off, man. Don't yeah. touch me. Go, man. Move, move, move. Get mm. away from me. Go. And I'll, we'll link up in a minute. Mm. But let's just cool down. Mm. So I let everybody, a couple man got sprung. <laughs> See, my girl, oh, I'm going to get off I'm a tired raven. <laughs> yeah. Right, no, mm. that's that. Right. And I'll just wait. And then when so everyone, yeah, when they all sat down, we'll just be like, yeah. Mm. Back in the, mm, mm. So mm. I, we're here, we're here. <laughs> And that's what it was. It was fun, man. It was fun. I enjoyed it, man. Mm. I loved it. It, mm. was, it, was, it was fun. You could never make those. The, you can't make it up, bro. Lily, I, mm, you can't. Can't pay. You for can't those make days it up. To come back, just so yeah, that was my jungle era, man. So mm. that was the, that was the beginning of my journey as as a, as an MC. As that's how it that's how it mm. developed into like going back. Then prison kind of set me back, but it didn't. And, and other, it was like a. It was a. I needed it. I needed prison. I needed to know that I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. Like. After wanking for <laughs> on magazines for God knows how long, I'm a gallus. I was just like, nah, man, I can't do this. I was yeah, just like, nah. Edicty. It was mm. too much for me. I was like, waking up wet dreams and all that. Mm. <laughs> Wake up and boxes are sticky and all that. Yeah. <laughs> like, man, I'm trying to chat to you in, in the gym, <laughs> like, ah, bro, change your room, chat to you, things hanging. It's mad. It was a lot, man. You I get think, what I'm saying? And for me, crazy life. Like. I was, a, like, I was a relationship kind of guy. I always had a girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I was always yeah. on the phone stressed out, like, oh, you sent me in the letters, man. You, you still always got a girlfriend, yeah. but yeah, that's, another, now, that's but another conversation. Yes, I'm married now. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that was my thing. That was my thing when I was younger. But um, yeah, that was it. Jail was a kind of an episode for me where it was like, right, you know what I mean? But I had fun. I, I knew everybody more or less. Like everywhere I went to, everyone kind of like knew the man. I, mm. I just, I, for me, it was just like it was me versus the screws. Mm. That's what that was my palaver because mm. they just kicked me out of every jail that I went to. Finn Felton. They were like they tried to put me on. Um, I was bougie, you know. They tried to put me on. Um, Mallard. What was the one you go to court? No, it was Kestrel. Oh my god, bro! It was so nasty. Yeah, the fucking, Oh my god, it was like <laughs> tissues all over mm. the wall. Fucking mm. shit everywhere. Bro, you think mm. I, bro, boom, get me off this <laughs> way. <laughs> get me off this way. <laughs> <laughs> man, shut up, man. Fuck you. Man, get me off this way. Yeah, they were, they were just like, we're taking you to block. I said, fuck it. I go block. I don't mind block. <laughs> I don't mind block. I'm not staying here. I was so bougie. I was like, nah. And then they took me to Mallard. Same thing again. Kick it off the door and then a screw come. And she was like, she was like, oh, Mr. Cam, he's, he's with us. Come. He brought me on partridge and it was mm. just like, yeah. Um. Clean. You know what I mean? Servery. Mm. A cleaner. <laughs> out of my cell. So like, yeah, I, I just, that JLS experience was different for me. Then Felton, like, got sentenced straight. First sentence, they sent me to, um, where did we go first? Only. Mm, was yeah, only done Only. Yeah, oh, we're done with Only. That's when I saw I've you. Was that, I, I, see you in, I saw you in Only, innit? I don't think so. Yes, man. You, action was there. C was there. Yeah, action was there. Yeah, C was there. You was oh, there, bro. Yeah, yeah, you was yeah. on a juvenile part. Yeah, but so were they. I was on H, then I moved to K. Or did I know you was in there? And I didn't. I swear I saw you once. I was like, Spider. Yeah, I, I swear on football. Because really? the, the football things used to link. The, the court. You got nah, remember. That was so long ago. Yeah, but I remember. I just, I remember. They, they 100% because C was there. Chopper was there. Couple Chopper was there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple they was, there. was there. So like, I remember... Um, yeah, only was my first little thing. I remember, uh, but that was racist, man. That jail was so racist. It was so racist because it's like rugby. Them time, remember them time there? It weren't like how it is now. You get what I'm saying? Hell no. Like, no TVs. Man, we were riding it. And it's only no, it weren't like bare man. Them. No, like bare it was bare. Like, it was me. like 
it was like loads of different people. But I, me- I remember there was quite a few people there, like a couple of South Man there. Mm. But it was mostly like Manchester, Birmingham, Coventry, Leicester. It was all that kind of. That was the first time I started into with, yeah. the, with all different people mm-hmm. from up mm-hmm. north. Because I remember when I was in only, I met my friend from Manchester, some Gucci. He's dead now, R.I.P. Tekka. Oh, you get what I'm saying? So me and him was banged up in a cell together. And he used to be telling me all about his Manchester stories and mm. your Gucci crew. You don't know about Gucci, you know about Doddy, and you know about LSE. Mm. I was like, what mm. the fuck are you talking about? Mm. He's like, yeah, but they were getting they were it. They stuff get, they were, he was listening to Master P. I'm listening to Jungle. He's not, he went on none mm. of that. He they was like, yo. Gangsta shit. Yeah, yeah, he's like, no, my bass man and trigger. That's who runs Jungle. Mm. I'm like, nah, man, see mm. what happened? He's like, nah. So we had our little, you know what I mean? But yeah, he was such a lovely guy me and him were like tight even when he come out of jail but yeah only was my first jail then they kicked me out of only because the man was just kicking up they try to say man were bullying like you know you can't take the, um, someone else's cake and custard for yeah, extras yeah, yeah. you couldn't it. do bare little thing take man put man mm-hmm. trainers put like, man on two stripes you can't fill out the next man's can eat yeah for, it was just a lot like, they were just stitch up like <laughs> they're trying to say that man are too into but even if you like me and spree will sit next to each other mm. and then i said yeah i'm gonna take your um you don't want that bro all right let me take that oh that's bullying two strikes against it was just a stitch up thing mm-hmm. so in the end man just said we just it kicked me fat shame a couple of other man that said all right use what hunter come they just mm. all packed us off the Hunter Club. Yeah, but you're laughing. But you're Hunter laughing Club was the bomb! Yeah, you're, you're laughing. Like, bro, as a first, I was dealing with LRs, LXRs, eight batteries for a time. And then when I went to Hunter Club and they had plug sockets, yeah, it was yeah, like, I mean, what? That's unheard of. Plug sockets? That's unheard of. That's <laughs> what? So- electricity. You got all that studio and all that. <laughs> what? Yeah, you got all that studio and all that. It was mud. <laughs> it was mud. Me and a couple of other South Man, like Ninja and whatever, we was doing sound clashes. Like, man, please, Stone Love. Jay was in like, there. Yeah, me and JF was there. He was like my next door. JF and Booth. Mm. Booth was next to mm. me. Yeah, Booth was next to me. Mm. And then France was in there. Ninja was across there. A couple other ways. It was, it was, it was, it was jokes. That I enjoyed. Because like that time there, on them wings there, man was just cussing, playing dominoes and just running bare joke. Just mm. dominoes every day and just running bare joke. And then they, yeah, they didn't like it. They, I was too loud. Mm. I was just loud every day. Cussing the screws. Like just ripping the screws apart. They were mm. like, we've got to get rid of this guy. He looks like a ringleader. Mm. Because I was yeah. the loudest, laughing, jumping off, just doing a madness. You know, a man goes in his crazy at half an hour mode mm. and then he's like, just doing a madness. And he's like, yeah, fuck it. One day, they bust the door. They were like, Mr. Cameron, right? You got to Stoke Keith. Yeah, I've done like, Stoke Keith as well. Stoke Keith's all right. Stoke and Trent. It's but right, it weren't right. nice for me because they come out like. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. right, right. I was like, what? What do you mean? No vi-? I was thinking visits, like, what the fuck? Mm, What's mm, going mm, on? Mm. Don't know no one. And they were like, yeah, pack your bag, you got now. And I said, why? They go, oh, the governor says you're, a, wait, on my file it says I'm an agitator. So whatever that meant at the time, like mm. this way to get rid of man. So they flinked me to Stoke and Trent. That's one of my last bit of my sentence. And I'll never get there. I met some good friends, some good Birmingham youths down there, not some Manchester. There as well. Yeah, not in them boys and that. It was a lot of people in there, but when I first come, there was like, Londoner. That's mm. what they were on. Yo, you're from London. I was the only man in the jail from London. Only man in the jail at the yeah, time nah, from London. I, I, I don't play with that London team. They have to call nah, me by my name. No, nah, no, nah, at first it was just like Stop. London. I didn't know no one. Straight mm. away. But as soon, get as, me. But as soon as I got Straight in there, away. Like, and I met certain people face to face on the wing, we were cool. Every, and mm. that was it. They loved me. You know mm. what I mean? They, it was Yo, it. London. Yeah, they tried that London. <laughs> like, London. And I was thinking, whatever, man. And then after, yeah, when I got to know people, they was cool. It was good people. Good like, stuff. That was my little jail lesson until I come out. You know what I mean? And then that was, that was yeah. That's what I say. I was talking to my friends over there saying that, like, do you think like jail is a good place for rehabilitation? Like, do you think they do enough to rehabilitate the people that go to prison? And I don't think they do nothing. I mean, you got your little one victim awareness call, your victim awareness calls, your mm. little um, what do they call it, anger management. But you know realistically, there's not they're not setting you up. When they release you, there's no, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the, the number one there's thing no is... no aftercare. Exactly, no. there's no mm. aftercare packages. Mm. Yeah. You know I mean, so people want to make money. But as far as prison though, it is what you make it, innit? See me, blood. Where I just, I just ride it, innit? Mm. I'm saying this. You've got the course. He's there. Mm. Like you can, you can do a lot of. You, you can. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I know a man that come out of there with some qualifications still. But it was more so for me. It was like when they do let you go. Like if the main heart, the life skills that people need, and like mm. how to earn exactly. a certain bread and whatever, or where they're gonna go and live, or the, who they're gonna be around, and what kind of mindset they're in there. What growth did they get? So when I come out, it it was just like all I was hearing was like, raw. Like, this man done that bank, that man done that bank. And I was mm. thinking, right, I ain't going to do no more banks or something like that. But like, yeah, he's a shot. I was like, oh, mm. OK. Yeah. Like, you know, you hear the mm. shot in yeah. stories like, yeah, man, I've got 50 racks or yeah, mm. man, stack this or stack that. And I was like, OK. Well, I Because back that in our jungle... in East, didn't you? Yeah, because in the jungle days, everyone used to just be smoking in the corners. You know, mm. smoking and then gums out and the smoking. So I was thinking, well, 
I went to prison, I was like, well, now you got to smoke that shit anymore. I might as well just sell the fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I come out, my mission was like, right, I'm gonna, I'm, this is my new hustle. Like, because I, I, it, just, it just seemed easy. I wasn't thinking about, like, oboes or if, what, I was thinking, right, I just used to running up in places and it would be on. So now it was more different. So I was like, yeah, I kind of, when I come out, that was my hustle. But the music thing for me, even in jail, I was writing, penning, 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 mm-hmm. just penning, bare jail. Remember, I used to buy a couple of trainers off you them times as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, you I forget. What I'm yeah, for real. So when I, when I come out, them errors for me was just like, yeah. I was like, right, picked up some food and that was it. I just just turned into the the, the, the neighbourhood top shotter. Because like, that's what I was going to ask you as well, bro. Because obviously, man, no, man's line was on fire, innit? Yeah, yeah. It, man uh, used to come true. Man used to come mummies. I remember even as a kid or whatever. Yeah, when I came out of jail and then I started whatever, whatever. They used to come and link you. I remember mm-hmm. they had the brown food and the pink food and beer. Oh, different thing. colour. Different yeah, colours, the yeah. mad thing, yeah? yeah. And I remember I used to come to your mum's and I was like, bags, like, Stacks on the ironing board. Mm, mm, I remember them days. Fuck yeah. you know, like, yeah, and no, I was getting. I had it, to man. get my chopper, but I, not long later, bruv, Yeah, mm-hmm. Cause I remember you got the bike, you got whatever. Yeah, but the Mustard and my. It's and like, bro, you just dropped it out. Yeah, and I, I remember see, see see me. Remember, man's still out here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you was thinking. So what man's thinking, what's, what's wrong with him? Like, you get what I'm saying? What but everyone's <laughs> everyone's thinking this guy's gone mad. Cause it's like. You get me, but what what was your mind state then? Mm, yeah, what happened? Well, it was like for me when I was shot in and up, money was good. Mm-hmm. I was buying, you know, got my bikes, got my cars, got my chains, got my bling, got whatever. My line zapping, and I had a mad line because all the man them that that went into shop big food, they were like, oh, just have my caps and like just have my kit things and and that, whatever. So they just everyone just dumped all their things on me, and then I was coming to them for the big like they just shot me the big food. But where the line was so zappy, and the reason why I never got yam is because I was smart. In the daytime, I'll be running around shooting whatever, whatever. But in the nighttime, where it all kicks off, where it's really bait, I'll be in Hackney in in a hostel with with the girl that I was with, and I'd be trapping out of there. So nighttime, three o'clock in the morning, phones ring. I come out the house. Swipe, mm, yeah, yeah, mm. trying to, yeah, right, cool, I'm gone. And that's how I used to think. So I never, I wasn't even in the ends. You know what I mean? So I weren't really big. Nighttime, Hackney, daytime, late. Mm. So the mindset. Now, I used to make bare, bare pieces of clothes still. Yeah, <sighs> definitely. Bare pieces of clothes. That, that was one of my next hustle as well. But what, mm. that, that okay, part. Mad. <laughs> not, that, not clock is mad, but. That, that part for me, with the transition, what, what, what you just said, what was the mindset? Why did I drop it all out? It was, um, I, uh, I think it was, was it double O? Them had a little rave called um, Donny Brasco, the mm. little thing, and it was like I remember I was used to go club coliseum and whatever, and you know as a shot of champagne and whatever, glossy whatever, at right, cool. So when the little local lads in the ends like double O and that, they was like, like they were doing a little under eighteens because Nicky had these little under eighteens where it's called Rumble. Yeah, like, come on, so remember. he was doing these under eighteens Rex, some, it? Yeah, he was Rex and like UN and stuff like that in Tottenham. So when they were doing the little things, they were like, yo, Max, man, like, Garage is really the one in the show, and rare, rare, rare. And I said, I never had no, no Garage lyrics. I was like, I'm a jungle man. Mm. So I was like, bro, he's like, oh, I'm going to put you on this Clash thing. And I was like, ah, oh, I need bars, man. So I was like, all right, fuck it, I accept it. So I wrote about 10 Garage lyrics, and it got cancelled. And i never forget, it got cancelled, and I was like, raw. And i never forget, I went to, like, Dread's house on, 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 in Leighton, Little Dread, and then I was like, um, all right, boom, we used to practice there on Garage. And then, yeah, I never forget, he goes to me, you know what, this garage thing is you, you know? And I said, you think so? He goes, yeah, no, nah, man, I'm telling you, this is you. So I said, all right, cool. And then um, I met one woman from one of my brethren's and she owned an agency called Vital Edge, Vicky and Nikki. She put me in there and my first booking, my first ever booking, they gave me a hundred pound, mm. was Martin Libby Ilana, Club mm. Club the same. Yeah. And when I got that hundred pound, mm. it was like, I've been doing this all my life for free in mm. the bedroom, my passion, mm. my dream. Mm. 20, 40, mm. 60, <laughs> 100. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Fuck, I ain't getting jail. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I ain't getting jail. I was like, all right, this is it. This is my mission. Mm. And I never forget. But I still wasn't out, out, out. I was like, mm. yo, oh, double O, I'm going to give you my phone. Mm. I'm going to go and get some big food. <laughs> you come to me for the food on my line, innit? Mm. So I said, let's go and buy big food. Chop it up, chop it up, and it, but you'd be for mm, my line, mm, and I'd mm. give the man in my line, and they would be going and doing all the madness, and I'd be like, come to me. But then I started going on other more bookings and getting paid for more other things, and it was just like, yo, I just don't want, it was just too much headache. Don't phone my phone no more. I didn't even want to deal with that. Mm. Just let it go. I'd never forget, I let it go, and it was the journey. 
that was it. I think God blessed me when I let it go because it was like the serious thing was was like say from the, I stopped shooting at the beginning of the year. The series happened at the end of the year. So, gonna, yeah, so it was all in one year. Okay, it was all like and it was like literally all in twelve months because I come out of prison ninety seven June and by September um, two thousand and one. No, by September 2000, that's when Cirrus dropped. So all right. under a re- release at a prison from June 99 to September 2000, and then 2001, man was a household name. It was a mm. rap, yeah. That. When you did that tune Cirrus, did you know it was going to be a banger? No, nah, it was just, um, I, yet again, my bridging uh, guy that I knew from the ends, Carl, he was like, oh, can you come to the studio? And da, da, da. we was on radio, MC into Garage and whatever. So I just went to the studio, and it's like some guys were in there. I didn't know nothing really about studios too tough. And I just done mm. my little bars, little radio bars. They were mm. just like my radio bars. Mm. And I just kind of constructed the hook was there. And I just kind of mm. put the verses of radio mm. bars together. And then, yeah, it was just out there. Um, we done a little promo run. As in, like, they gave it out. No one really bit or whatever. And then I never forget, he goes to me, yo, bro, like, um, Spoonie. And that played it on Radio 1. I said, lie. Mm. I was like, yeah, he goes, you need to do duplets now for all the rest of the DJs. Yeah. And I never went to the studio, I done about 50 dubs and I, and I forgot about it. And summer come and then we got our first booking. I think that's when we just decided to become pay as you go. Mm-hmm. Got my first booking and I went to Napa. And then I went to, like, I remember we first come on the strip, all sighted, young and our shorts and whatever, and it's there. And, and then the first bar we went to, I just never forget. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, I was like, what? Dun, dun. I was like, that's not my tune. And the man was like, oh, oh, oh. Then went to the other bar. And he's like, and like, oh, oh. And then went to another bar. He was like, oh, oh. I was like, the whole, yeah. that whole, that whole um, trip, yeah. they just rinsed my tune. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah it good. was nice. Mm. Yeah, it was nice. For me as a young little kid, I was gas. inside. But mm. I was too cool for the man them. Man them mm. wouldn't know I was gas. But inside, yeah. you couldn't chat to me. <laughs> Chat to me. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't mm. chat to me. I, I like, knew I was the G. Mm. So it was, yeah, it was fun. But that was it. That was it. That and Page Go. That was the beginning of the transition. I kind of just said, you know, like, I let the streets go from there, you know what mm. I mean? Yeah. Mm. Where did that chart? That charted number 31, national charts, mm. independently, because it was, everyone thought it was on a, a major label, but it wasn't. It was an independent label called um, Tony for Liberty Records because he kind of signed it off another independent label that the guy who had the studio called Relentless and he kind of right. shot it to Tony and Tony had more industry links and then I got bumped on that my first advance as well mm. yeah I was meant to get more money I didn't really we didn't make no more than 10 bags advance on that yeah mm. and then um, but I got a big publishing check that's what nice me that's what everyone mm. was like right this guy's made it yeah. but it's my publishing I didn't get a, I didn't have a record con- I didn't have a recording contract I didn't have no album deal right. so when you have an album deal and a publishing deal publishing deals for your songwriting and the albums for your recording so a lot of people that were getting like videos and mm. like like the soul solids and that they were getting whatever they were getting a lot of marketing dollars mm-hmm. where I just got a big fat publishing check as a songwriter for the actual song series, right. you know I'm saying so. I didn't get the the the, the, the small releases. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I'm saying as, from the album, but mm-hmm. back by a major like a Sony or whatever. Only until the Page of Gold thing got signed. That's when I got signed to a major. Right. Yeah. So that that whole episode there was crazy. But yeah, because that was like the first to chart really that I can remember. Yeah, that's what Wiley keeps on saying. It's like you were the first mm-hmm. song. You had the first song. Who was next? Was it? Was it? Was it? When did More Fire come? Before? After? 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 after, after, way so after yeah. No, no, I'm saying before. After So Solid. Oh, way after So Solid. So Solid were first. So Solid were so, the first. So Solid. Yeah, I was. Way, I was in jail for all of that. You just yeah. You actually you was I went yeah, back. I went back. You went it? back. I yeah. remember when I come out and I saw Casualty on the screen and I was like, hold on a minute. 
these guys have got Avex jackets on. These guys look like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of related to them. Like, they look like a bit of like, mandem ish. Mm. Like, they're on TV and then they're doing their little thing. And then I saw the, the Oh No thing or the Mega Man thing and I was like, rah, this thing can really work. This mm. is like, oh, we can see ourselves on the TV. And that's what kind of drives man even more. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. Because knowing was... Joe, it was a bigger deal as well. Because imagine hearing the, the tunes on yeah, radio. Yeah, I didn't know what it would be like. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah. on radio? It was like, nah, Max is gone. Yeah, it must da, have da, been da, mad for you. Like, yeah, you get what I'm saying? And yeah, I didn't even think then of it even, like that. Then even even um, more fire in that. Mm. Where man know them as mm. well. It's like, right, don't let. Because it's mad because with more fire, especially Lethal, his name's Maxwell, isn't it? That's his, mm, that's yeah, his real on. name, isn't it? So he's from... Yeah, but I never knew him like that. I more knew Oz and I knew Nico at the time. Mm. And then they were at... Um, Chubby Dread Studio through Nicky through Slim Slim brought them to his studio Platinum 45 Studio so obviously Leighton Stone man knew the man them so we'd come down there and I'd be like oh okay so I met them up there and he's like yeah there's these young little kids doing their mm. thing and I was like I was really serious and really established mm. so I was mm-hmm. like Chow man you man come with me to a couple shows man and mm. I like the look at you them they're doing their thing so I, I remember bringing Ozzy and Nico and, or, or whatever to a couple shows and that and yeah I was fully backing them you mm. know what I mean and then yeah then they had their hit Oi, and then and that was it. They they entered. Did into Chubby the... bumped him? I don't. Do you know what it is? That's a good question to ask because <laughs> no, I don't really I, know I, their person. I don't, I, I, people talk about people's affairs, but I don't. No, really, I'm going to get them on it. I don't really don't know what? their personal affairs and yeah, that. But there's obviously rumors always, always flying around about different stuff. But I'm sure. I think didn't. I didn't even mention it. Or I don't know. I don't know who mentioned it. But apparently things happen. But I don't. I don't know. But I think, yeah. To be fair though, if it wasn't for Chubby. Or yeah, Skenjin, come on. they wouldn't have been more fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, it's kind of a, you know what I mean? I don't know how the logistics works with the paperwork, but if it wasn't for them, there would be no them. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. Yeah, now big up them lot though. Yeah, that was like the whole East London territory. So, you know what I mean? So that was the garage and the, the early grime days before it even got to grime. Yeah. Then then the peers you go, how did that come around? Yeah, yeah wow. that was mad because... Was you in jail with Gif? Nah. Oh, me and Gift done Napa though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I remember he went, he was called Pepsi back in the jungle days. And then Page You Go days, he came Gift. Well, okay, so Page You Go, I knew them from college. So Wiley and that, like Target, so down there. Yeah, I, I knew them from college. And obviously I went out to the girl from the area. So I had a thing, even like Target come and visit me when I was in prison. I was in Felton. So there was a relationship with them man anyway. So when I come out, it was just like, right, go straight back into back into it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, but we was called Ladies Hit Squad, me, Wiley and Target. We just done our own little thing on Rinse FM called Ladies Hit Squad. It's played for the gallum. Mm-hmm. I host it, them two DJ, and it's for the gallum. And then Wiley made the No We Beat one day and he said like, yo, come studio, I've got this tune. So I was like, I remember he had a little floppy disc and he was loading up his sounds in the studio. And I was like, and I remember hearing the beat like, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, yo, this is cold, you know? And he was like, yeah, 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 I got, I got Jerome to like, he goes, I got gift to do a, a hook. And, he's like, mm. and I heard the hook, I was like, no, you don't know. I was like, okay, mm. this is back. He's like, yeah, all right, cool. All right, Ace, you go first. I'm going to go second. Max, you go third. And then Gif, you close it, yeah? I was like, all right, cool, 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 cool. So everyone had their little thing. He goes, even why? He was like, yeah, I want you to spit that bar. Um, well, how do you mean? Da, 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 da. He had it all mapped out in his head. Like, he knew what we were working to think. I was like, okay. So, I done, so Ace done his one. Everybody wants to be on top shot. Like, coming in. And that. I was like, all right. So the, why he's like, William, how am I going to make a R. million? R. Yeah. Still. Yeah, RIP, my brother. Man. That's another next thing. So I'm mad thing. And then, then I come in with, how do you mean? Empty, reload, and clean the magazine. It's like, it's like, people are just like, yo, these guys are the fun thing. And then, Gift closed down his part and that song there we it weren't a pay as you go song it was just no we but there were pay as you go members on there and they were like ladies hit squad members which right, is me right. so what we decided to do is when we went we serviced it around a little while like to a couple people and whatever but um i think wiley sold a, a couple of white a thousand whites with um one of the guys that are around mickey adnan and them lot yeah, the record shop in Bethlehem Green. And after that, um, I, when I went on one of my um, little trips to France as a booking uh, um, on the agency, I met a guy called T-Bone and he had the Kyan Sparks tune, rolling with the SDK. He had that tune. So I must have said to him, eh, what now? Nah, boom. Me and I got a little squad called Pay As You Go. Da, 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 da. I remember playing with Novi <laughs> on a TDK 90, bro, all hissy and that, you get me? I remember that's winding it. <laughs> like, pull it in, he played it, and he was like, yeah, I like this, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, who made this? I said, oh, my bridging wire. He goes, Bring it down to my studio. I said, is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, cool. Boom. But went, so I said to Wiley, look, I met the guy who made the guy in Sparks tune. Rah, rah. You know, manager's trying to make music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, bro, we got to go down. I said, all right, cool, cool, cool. We went to the studio. 
Master Steps was in the building, Shafex was in that mm. same building. Yeah, so there were other Steps. industry people there. Mm. So we're meeting them, we're like, okay. So he played him the song, and he's like, like Wiley's gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, I want to sign it. So Wiley's gone, ah, I don't know, I don't know. So he kind of <laughs> left it. I left there, kind of got on with my life. But why all that was going on, and I'm getting on my life, Wiley's double back there, yeah. as big man do, and I'm going to shot him three tunes mm. for about a bills each. So he shot him Norway, Terrible, Mad. and I Will Not Lose. Like, he's one of the three biggest road inches. He shot them three. But what T-Bone had, what none of us had, he had infrastructure. He had the so, engine. Yeah, he had the engine. So he had Solid City label. His partner that he had the label with was Ricky, who was partnered with Tony McMahon, who ran ISFM. And right. ISFM, Tony McMahon had exposure, mm -hmm. which is the Rave Coliseum. Mm -hmm. So that whole network, as mm -hmm. soon as we gave him the, the, the Norway, T-Bone was like, yeah, yeah. all right. Power play, ISFM, yeah. every single day. So West London was getting fevered. Mm. We're from East, we're going to get peppered anyway. And then everything else just started spreading. It was that domino effect. And then, yeah, as that no, we got big, randomly, I obviously, the thing that I done serious was just, it just literally, no, we just was more of an underground thing yeah, as a group yeah, thing. And yeah. then serious come out of nowhere, nowhere. literally it just went boom. Tony got it, promoted it. Radio locked it down. Club anthem Napa. That was it. Got signed. Got mm. my publishing check. Video. Mm. Done my video in Peckham Burgess Park, and yeah. and that was it. Before I night, I was doing interviews on T4, Children's mm. BBC. Mm. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Mm. I was just coming with my big chain, my <laughs> gully self, road mm. attitude, just straight rude boy. Just mm. not no industry equity at all. Like just <laughs> yeah. no interviews were just like yeah, just road man. Like, it's just yeah. raw, innit? Like yeah, very raw, very just raw. raw. It was all new to us. Yeah. It was all new. But I never forget though. I remember going to one PA in. I think they liked the that though. I think Whoa. they kind of liked it a bit. It, worked, it, was you know it was It was different, innit? I ended up batting up people like my, my dad's friends. Like, I'd be yeah. going to, like, I remember, was it um, Jigs? Or was it Blessing? Or Jig, I think it was Jigs. He, one of the people, they booked us and whatever. And then I remember they weren't paying us our money. And I was just switching, rude boys mode, straight coming, like, yo, want our money worth mashing up this whole thing. Mm. Everything's getting lit. I know your dad! I don't give a fuck about being on my dad. You know, like, you know, like the rude boys. Like, I don't yeah. give a shit if you know my dad. But now looking back, I'm thinking, raw man, this is messing with yeah. dad's people. Like, oh my god. Like, yeah, I'm on the same stage as your dad. I don't give a fuck mm. about. Pick up your dad you as well, like, you know. Huh? You gotta pick up your dad. Yeah, my dad. Big up Natty B. He was on um, Trace of Firm, yeah. WNK, Kiss of Firm, yeah. Rasta man, big re mm. reggae yeah. DJ, yeah. doing his thing for years. Yeah. So um, yeah, I just little things like that. I had a. It was raw early Maxwell was still street yeah. orientated. Denzel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Denzel. That was early Denzel was street orientated. And then it's only two I've got it's only two like, yeah. So that that's that's what was going on them times there. Like pay as you go, that's how we become pay as you go and and that's how it was ventured into the world, man. Mm. So Bushkin was saying, yeah, because he was like, oh yeah, like even from Heartless point of view or everyone mm. on the road yeah. was like you was the main one out of um, here's you go like the street one I think, to I'll, give it the credit yeah you know, I know I know what it was type of thing so man you, come out of prison it was very it wasn't like it's like 5-10 years ago it was like very mm. short gap so when people are coming out of prison they're like yo I was with my man so everything my man's saying right now on the mic I can relate because he's one of us isn't he? he's a mm. real one he's been with us not, and not say because you go Joey it means you're real but just man knew my echo, like my energy and what I was about and whatever whatever ends I was from Peckham Tottenham Leighton whatever every areas I was in I was doing my thing so people respected me for that so when they see me doing the music thing they're thinking yo go on my like go on like one of us is up there kind of thing so for me yeah a lot of people in Page You Go I, would, I wasn't shy Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I weren't shy for nothing. Like, I was very bossy, very out there, very mm -hmm. outspoken. So, I would be the first one to speak. I'd be the first one to get in front. Of, and I had a lot of experience from the serious thing. Because when the yeah. serious kind of blew, it put me on a whole solo track on my own. I was just doing interviews on my own, going PAs on my own. i never forget, man. I went to one PA in Basel and the guy goes to me, is that it? I said, what do you mean, that it? He goes, bruv, you've just been there for about three minutes. You said you booked serious, didn't you? It's like, that's how long the song lasts. What do you want me to do? Mm. What do you want me to do, bro? Give my blood clot money. <laughs> I just took, my, took the envelope from me and I bounced. But now looking back, yeah. I kind of, that wasn't nice. That yeah. wasn't nice. Yeah. But that's how my mindset was. I was like, what? So people were like, yeah. So I was on my own. So when it comes to pay as you go, 
<laughs> they wanted you to do a proper set in it. Yeah, no, obviously, yeah. But when it comes to pay as you go days, it was like I didn't mind taking a yeah. thing. So I was like T4 or any channels. I like yeah, I'll speak because I was very ready. I really, kind of understood that the camera's there. I knew the, when the red lights on, that means that camera's on. Yeah. I knew how to look. I knew how to set up. I knew how to uh, wait and answer interviews. Where certain man would be shy, like yeah. Oh, like what do you, when do you, what do you think? Them. Who's your favorite artist or whatever? And I'm like, oh, like we're looking yeah. all around and not looking at the yeah, camera. Yeah, that was like my thing with North Star. C will do the talking. Oh, was that? You didn't yeah. want to do the talking? Not interested. Yeah, you've done your thing with North Star, man. <laughs> I never forget when I did Channel U days because we was all putting our bits in Channel U and I never said forget and I see them. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, fuck you know, about Black Clock Time. You know them mm. ones? They're like, yeah, okay. Man, am I really getting I'm a mm. man in my hair now. Like, it's really, it was nice. It was nice to see, man. Come yeah. on, fam. Mm. Real mm. shit. Mm. Get me, but There's yeah. so many stories. The so many. you go from, from that... Mm -hmm. um, because it sounds to me from from yeah. hearing what you're saying yeah. and all that that like obviously you use the face you use the cred sheet cred or whatever mm -hmm. but slightly still sounds like Wiley was like kind of the brain box not no, like that because no. of how you said he put the tune together no, Wiley's, let me with say the no we and all that Wiley's, like he just, what do you got to understand Will, Will, he was like the Mr. super X. talented he was yeah, yeah in other ways like you might say I might have been the Wolverine character because mm. we all had characters that like, we all were like X-Men like Wiley might have been like the that, mm. like what's his name um, mm. my man the, the wheelchair yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean so I and, then, and, then, and, then, and then obviously you had Ace and everyone had their little special powers but yeah with Will I think with him he weren't on commercial, he used to shy away from it. Mm -hmm. Anytime things were getting popular, I'm just yeah. like, get me the bread. I'm, I know where I'm coming from. I'm mm. getting away. I don't want to sit in the juice no more. Mm. Like, I don't want to sit in the hood juice. No. I'm out, out grown. Yeah. I want to put that man. Okay, for instance, champagne dance video stylist. Now we're having conversations. So what do you want to wear? I'm like, yeah, I'm like fur jacket. I need two gal mm. on my arm. I want a fur jacket. I'm pimping this shit out. Sorry, I'm mm. pimping this shit out. Mm. Man, I'm like, no, man, I'm gonna wear Avrex. Avrex, man, wear that every day, yeah. boy. This is a video shoot. It's time mm. to ball out. Mm. Like, get the wardrobe out. You know. Like I know you saw love like this. <laughs> was Cassius Henry? No, it was um, Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> so I'm saying she, she the one with North Star with Cassius Henry. You saw man at the fur out and all that. So I think Shambay was before that, you know. No, I just call cool, man. You know why? Because yeah. mm. Shambay was, <laughs> was, was before, 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 before that. <clears throat> it was before that, but I'm saying I know you saw our. Oh, of course, how we yeah, came yeah, out. yeah, standard. You but, get what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, you I know didn't have I mean? the question, man. If we're, like, if we're doing anything new. to do with video exactly. shoot, yes, yes, yes. We've got to come out like that. You get what I'm saying? No, but yeah, you man them would know. When I man them from the ends, the real man them would know to step out. You got a chance to shine, you shine, isn't it? Like you step out. There's no point wearing everyday gum. I remember that one when you had the first jacket as well. Cause you're my honey baby Or because you love me way before the money baby I find it funny baby Are your friends always diss me when they want me baby It's true My love, my friend, my everything My life, my wife You don't sing Like a car, like a cash Never keep you in I've been looking for Love like this I wanna tell you how I feel Hold you in my arms and tell you what's real Will I leave the streets? I mean you chill I think about you nearly every day Cause you blow my mind away I was never gonna just step out with just everyday clothes because I'm a garms man anyway So mm. that just been So I was like, nah shit, what do I do? Well I'm standing out Fur yeah. jacket for me mm. No top Chain hanging Two arms and a chick, cause it's a gallant thing. Mm. And that just was, one of us in it. Yeah. So one that, of us. Yeah. Get me. That's how it was. That's what <laughs> one it was. of us. Get me. And um, yeah, that's what it was for me. So that's how the mindset of of the group was like. Them man, Wiley had his own little agendas. I had my own agenda. And then yeah, I think with the pay as you go for me, you know, being a part of the street and doing what we're doing, I had a solo track series, so I kind of standed out on my own on two feet anyway without the group. None of the people in the group had any solo tunes at the time. Yeah. I was the only person who would go be able to go to a yeah. dance and PA a tune on my jacks. And um yeah. But what with Will, I think a lot of the time he didn't want to go commercial. Like as in when we done school tours and we got on the school buses. Him and Ace, they never made not one school tour, bruv. <laughs> like, I was willing to put in that work. I mm. knew the grind. I knew the grind from Sirius. I knew mm. when the record company signs you and you go on the promo, I had mm. all that experience. So when it was pay as you go's turn, like when we signed to Sony and we champagne mm. dance, I was like, yeah, I'm ready for this stuff. I actually enjoyed it. I was like, yeah, let's mm. work this because I know what the end result's going to mm -hmm. be. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah. okay, cool. School bus turn up, 8 o'clock in the morning. These man ain't waking up at 8 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> man. They're coming up and banging man's door. Come on, brother, you're making us late. 
Mm. And, oh, coming out with his do rag half asleep. What's a joker, man? Mm. Why is he not even no show? Why is this a no show? Fuck mm. it. Man's come to pull up, he's like, ah, he's not, how's that on? So we began from, we leave London and we got Birmingham schools, Manchester schools, mm. like all over England schools, you know what I mean? And mm. yeah, that for me was was mad. So I think Will didn't really, when it started to get to that yeah. crossover, yeah. Yeah. it was too, so I remember Champagne video, that man went radio. Straight after him and Dizzy, they went radio. Mm. I'm like, I'm a superstar, man made it, bro. <laughs> Fuck mm. radio. Mm. Like, but he was thinking, nah, there's a whole new world building up. Mm. But my thing was to escape. Like, I don't, I'm done with that. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been fucking battling to get yeah. out of that world on yeah, the street exactly. level, let alone music level. I'm one exactly. out. Yeah. So what, whatever name's Mersh, show me the money, I'm getting the hell out of it. Yeah. And it wasn't the case, like, you don't know where you come from. It's like, no, what are you talking about? Man is, that's where I come from here. Yeah. But mm. you know what I mean? But where I'm trying to go to is over there. Mm. But people didn't have that mindset at the time. So I think Will, he was like, nah, fuck it. And then when we all broke up, he decided to do his roll deep thing. So yeah. he was the master of that group. With Pay As You Go, it was too much bosses. We were all bosses. There was no leader. You was know it what a mean? messy breakup or no? Nah? It was just a bait breakup. It's it was like, behind... Everyone just started forming their own little football teams, innit? Yeah. Like, so one minute I'd be going to a dance and I see like, what, so why do we come with bowl? Yeah. I come with like, Leighton, yeah. a bit of Peckham, a bit of mm. Tottenham, whatever. Then ha- Plague will come with a bag of Hackney people. So there was all different energies around that. It was like a massive entourage of people. Mm. But the reality of it was, was that it, you could see that Wiley's little squad that he had around with him, they were all kind of like MCs and like you mm. had the Dizzies, you had your yeah. Breezes. Had, that was these boys from school. Mm. That's who really should have been. Like that was, I used to be a part of them as well, to be fair, SS crew. Do you remember the SS crew? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was them and them rinse. And right. then... Yeah, so when we broke up, it was more of a case of, I think, Wiley and Dizzy, while we was going commercial, like, people think that we're all one in it, but we're not really, like, these times, them man are off doing their thing on radio, Dizzy Rascal ain't, um, he's roll deep, but he's not pay as you go, mm. their manager, and then man pulled a kind of little fast one, I, it went, I say it's a fast one, but I, I don't think Wiley might remember it, but what happened was, we were managed by... At the time, to get our champagne dance it was managed by Dizzy's manager. I think mm. Nick, the guy that might be managing him, I'm not sure if he still manages him now, but when Nick was managing us, why they come to me one day and he's like, nah, man, I don't like, because he was, that was him, originally him and Dizzy's manager. Mm. And I mean, I, me and, we didn't, Pay As You Go never had no manager. manager. I had a manager solely before that, which was a guy called Trenton, who manages gigs and whatever, and other people. So um, I was like, all right, cool. He was like, no, I don't like Nick, man. Nick's, he's doing, a, he's doing all this. He was just telling him he's doing all sorts of mad stuff. And he's like, mm. I don't like him, man. I'm telling you, Max, you got, you got a manager, isn't it? You, you know Trenton, just take me to Trenton and that. Mm. I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh. it goes. Cause we had like a little deals and that were coming on table. Like Universal wanted to sign us and everywhere. I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. I took, I took Wiley and them lot to Trenton. Mm-hmm. And so Trenton was like, ah, oh, cool, I'll take over the deal. But what happened was, that man made champagne dance in Universal Studios. Sony, Semtex obviously got the kite that from T Bone that yeah I got no you yeah. know what I mean so he just wanted to sign a pay as you go tune so Semtex was like yo remember meeting me like yo and Leighton saying yo man I really like your song like no we I really want to sign it did it was the deal so I was like yeah yeah we can talk so obviously T Bone that were trying to shot no we to Semtex and that but yeah. these times Universal them not Don P and that sh- like recorded champagne dance in in the, in their studios mm. so they have thought they had a piece so they're trying right. to offer us an album deal and whatever but then why is that in the mix saying no nah, don't <laughs> stay with Nick because Nick sorted that that thing mm-hmm. so it was all messy mm. and then I was like I never forget we we dropped Nick out. Went with Trenton and that, mm. got in a deal into the into the Universal meeting, and the guy's like, yeah, so um, I'm confused here because like I got you guys coming in trying to sell us pay as you go, and then I got Wiley coming in selling us roll deep. We're like, what? Wiley mm. doing what? Mm. He's selling what? He's pay as you go. What are you talking about? He said we don't even know he's left yeah, the group yet. You yeah, get me? Yeah. I was like, that's mad. He's like, well, as long as Max D and Wiley signs the signs the deal, then you know, and then yeah, five hundred bucks went down, half a mil went down the drain. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Went down the drain. We didn't. We didn't sign the deal because that, that's what he wanted to do. Because Wiley was confused. Them not were confusing up the situation. They were like bringing like dizzy Different and whatever. Because Nick, yeah. we left Nick. But what Wiley done? He threw us. I don't know if he done it intentionally. Bless him. I don't know if he done it intentionally. But he threw us over to Nick and um, to Trenton and that. Yeah. And all us sort of ship jump ship like, like that. Daisy and Dash. And then he doubled back <laughs> to Nick to Nick oh, with dizzy oh, and that. And then they went. And they were trying to do their own thing, but I think he might have realised that on the street, 
now the new because we've been on the road for a little while. I've been doing it now. So I forget. So you got to remember. So from two thousand and two up to two thousand and three, I've been running it red, mm. running it red. Mm. You know what I'm saying for me, three years like just MC and doing whatever serious have the mm-hmm. thing, and then now it's a new breed of little young. Yeah, w- w- been listening to us for a little while, getting yeah. all dark and it. Mm. So you, then your dizzies are born, and then your nasty crews and whatever. Mm. All them man are doing their thing, and then I remember like. Yeah, it's crazy, it's, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, just a little bit after because he, he was in jail mm-hmm. in it. So mm-hmm. when they come out, when when Wiley was doing um the dizzy thing, the roll deep thing, the streets, he was, I think Wiley realized that they had heat, even though we all had heat. But you know, it's like when mm. people think you're a superstar, he's like, oh, fuck them man, there. They don't care about them man. There. They want the, the they want they, the guys that they can, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That are related because dizzy when dizzy come out, get that, take that Nokia. What? Who's Mad. got enough? Yeah, Mad. I was crazy. like, right. I wouldn't say something like that. Mm-hmm. Man's gone buy five Nokias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we're not taking yeah, Nokias. Yeah. We're not taking yeah. phones. It, yeah. w- it wouldn't come into it's my not, mind to yeah, rob yeah. a Nokia. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when I was in jungle and I street life, I get harder. I could mm. talk like that yeah. because that's what I was experiencing. So when I heard this, I was like, and he had a funny voice where his voice was so distinctive. Mm-hmm. So I, and but people thought they were pay as you go because they were with Will. Mm. So when Will was bringing them dizzy on. The, um, on the, the sideway and the tape packs now and them do them him and gift and what they're doing the little sets people actually thinking it's pay as you go but really it's nothing to do with us that like we're just like bringing them along so we used to bring Dizzy to our sets to radio sets and I'll never forget Slimzy's birthday bash and bought him on and Slimzy goes to me oh I bought Dizzy can he touch the mic and I was like yeah of course he can touch the mic he's been hang, you know, hanging around us a little while of course when, and he had the I love you tune at the time I love you mm-hmm. and then I remember he played it it went off he come up passing the mic and he shut it down. Big tunes. And I was like, yeah, yo, I this guy's going. Mm. And I never forget, I was like, yes, yeah, so what? Yeah, so yeah, so he's page, in my head, I'm like, yeah, he's page of gold. You know, like, mm. I'm only just like, yeah, he's one of the yeah, random. Yeah, but yeah. no, no, we were not had their own agenda. They were like, mm. fuck that. They were just like, yeah, they just broke off and just mm. done their road eat thing. And that was, that was, that was the end of page of gold. But I think, when he wheeled on his road eat thing, Ace went off and done East Connection. So he's gone off and started recruiting Bashy, um, uh, Flirter, well, no, no, East Connection first was like um, Bashi, Nicky Slimting, Juki Mondo, God's Gift went over there, Precious, and a couple of their little world, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then and then he left that group and then he went to spec down a thing in Northwest Special Delivery and he found Flirter, yeah, yeah. Um, Red Rum, and, and Bashi and all of that world. And then he brought that to the table and then I went off and done my Musketeers things like Lady Fury and yeah, Little yeah. Ashman and yeah. couple, you know what we I mean? We had Lady Fury on this. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, Lady Fury, yeah. yeah. So I, yeah, obviously Lady Fury, we brought from East Connection, she followed me into Musketeers. And then that's, so that whole little, we, pay as you go just like broke up like a big atom bomb yeah. into all these little pieces of little groups and then that was it. That was like the new wave of grime because mm. then we all was uh, like more or less competing with each other yeah. basically. Roll yeah. Deep, Ease Connection, Nasty Crew. Then you had Skepta and them lot come down from Meridian. They were doing, um, they were on the radio station Big H and them lot. They were, yeah. I think Skepta, when Skepta was a DJ, you know what I'm saying, was DJing. Mm. And then I didn't even remember Jamie them times. Um, and then yeah, you had all of that. So that and then Deja Vu and Rinse, they were like the core Grimes, because the, the music started changing as well. Because we just wanted to ride the rhythms, mm. fuck the vocals, mm. like like mm. bring you flat, like big up, big song. But like, yeah, nah, yeah. I used to be like, nah, nah man. Yeah. But why are you playing that for, man? Man just want to mm. squeeze, brother. Like, or, or what we do, be like, all right, cool, just play the girls in the tune for the first half an hour and then just lang it down afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so to get the girls in the tune out the way, you know, you know, I'll bring you flat, and play with that, and then we'd be like, all right, cool. So that was the mission. So it was the music started changing. Slimzy started playing more darker side of the garage. Mm. You get me? So it would be like, then Wiley and that were making beats. So that with, with our production, with Slimzy's, like the selection of tunes he was playing, we started playing different to what a Heartless crew would play or what a Soul Solid crew would play. We wouldn't play the, the regulars. Mm. We'd have our own little dubs. Mm-hmm. So like, our sets were different. And yeah. then we'd do all sorts of shit like, chop up all the biggest hits, garage hits, eight bars, after eight bar, after eight bar, after eight bar. So mm. that we just laying that down and the whole dance is getting mad. Yeah. Eight bar, eight bar, eight bar, eight bar. After every eight bar, another big tune, another mm. big joke. And then we just shutting down race for about a year. We weren't, we weren't that long, you know. Pairs you go weren't that long. People think it was a long time. We weren't that long. They need mm. to do more of that now, though, in the like, all He ain't going to get that now. I know, I know. So at, one, at what point was it what, you went mad with the papers with Jamelia? So... <laughs> no, he, he, just slipped, he slipped it nicely. Yeah, yeah, so no, no. Like, I'm, nice. I'm trying to work out. <laughs> what, what, like, was it when? Like, when? What? what when was that, blood? 
So what happened? I've never spoke to you about it as well. That's that cool. was crazy still. It's fun. It's mad because um. I speak like now I can speak about it as a, as a I very... spoke to Ips earlier on as well. He was with me. To <laughs> but, yeah, start with Wow. Yeah, start I with he was with me. Yeah, Shit. just start with what what was that about? How you kiss and told like yeah. that's mad. No, 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 that's mine, I'm that's mad, mad. You get I was me? I was I was like what you say it? <laughs> I would say inexperienced, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very inexperienced in the media. Didn't really know about these things then. Mm-hmm. So when the guy from the News of the World come to, when they got hold of me, it was like, yo, hey, Max Lee, he's a Scottish guy. Hey, mm-hmm. Max Lee, come to, stu- like, come on and talk about, um, can I interview you about mm-hmm. you? And da, 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 da. So I was like, who's this? He's like, oh, my name's blah, blah, blah. How'd you get my number? He goes, mm-hmm. ah, whatever. I was like, yeah, you want to interview me? Gas, come to my studio. Yeah. So he, like, he come mm-hmm. and met me in Bermondsey. That's why I'm at my studio at them times there. So I'm in the studio, we're just chatting away and da 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 da. And then just like this. And then like we're talking, talking, and then he's going, yeah. So anyway, tell us about your sex life. It's <laughs> like, what? Sex life? What do you mean sex life? He's ah, oh, no, you done this, and I've heard that he's da 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 da. So I'm thinking, how the fuck does this guy know my sexual business? Mm-hmm. Who's been chatting shit to you? Mm-hmm. So I was like, alright, cool, cool, cool. So anyway, in, wrapped up the interview, and it's gone to me, listen. You know, them serious ones, like, yo, I'll give you some good money for this, tell me, like, and I was, I, so I didn't understand, so I was like, all right, what do you mean? He's like, yo, just, if you could just say, like, confirm that you, like, rare, 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 I'll give you, like, 10 bags a girl. Huh? You want to give me 10 bags? Is this how I slept with this person? Are you stupid? Do you not know where I'm from? I'm, I'm from the hood, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what? Man, I'm telling you, man will tell you this for free. Yeah, I didn't even yeah, expect you to say, he's going to say 10 bags, he can't give you 10 yeah, bags a girl. Yeah, say. so it was like, I was like, huh? You want me to say that's so the same thing to lay on a couple of gal and all that. Nah, do you know what it was? <laughs> the thing, I'm just silly because as as that took place at that moment, Bro, I it I would have lied on about twenty gal. It, it didn't go down because it was <laughs> <laughs> as as he was saying that. I was like, I weren't really registering it like that. I was, I didn't even understand it too tough. And I had a guy around me, the, um, a management guy, and, and I must have sent, said it to him, and he was like, Yeah, yeah you can get that. Whatever, whatever, but it, it it fell through. It didn't happen. It, it, for some reason, this the guy left the news of the world. He went to the sun. He's with the sun now. I think he, he runs a bizarre column. Oh really? Yeah, the the pussy. Oh, mm-hmm. you get me? Yeah, try to fuck up man's life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, he started this whole thing bizarrely. But God, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, when I check it, that was what he did. And also, mm-hmm. the news of the world were hacking people, fam. Right. That check that. Mm. They, they didn't hack you though. You told them, but God. No. What do you mean? They're not. <laughs> so they're like, so how did they come? To, how did he get the source? Yeah. Like, someone had to get yeah, some source to begin, to begin with. How you know? How you know my business? Mm. And they, and they're, uh, they're talking about girlfriends. They were like, oh, so we heard that you dated June Soprong. I was like, June Soprong. I like. I used to go of her friend, mm. some Chinese girl from mm. from cattle. So I was thinking, That's how the fuck? cousin as well. Jam and Justin. Okay. I was thinking, how the fuck they know I know June? It didn't make no sense. Anyway, so anyway, boom, it fell through. It never happened. X, Y, Z. Then randomly, I'm just, this is how they caught me off guard. I'm cutting dubs in music house, you know, going through the thing in the industry. I think it was just shit time, whatever, whatever. Got a call, but it was from another guy. And he's like, hey, hey, is that Max Monday? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I've got a story, yeah? Like, um, um, yeah, um, about this girl, what are you saying to me? Just like, listen, we'll transfer the money to your account right now. I was like, what? I was like, you know, like, look, you should, I've got 10 grand right here, right now. I'll send it to you, white to you. Just give me your bank details. So I was like, raw. I was like, I don't know. I just said, fuck it, innit? Like, mm-hmm. dangle the carrot. I just said, oh, fuck it. Yeah, sure, man, fuck it. <laughs> Boom. So, that thing, I'll never forget. <laughs> oh, God. I picked up my babe mother from um, um, my, son, my eldest son's mum from the, from the airport. She used to fly. She used to but when, a- when you done that, fam, yeah? Mm. Did you know that she had brothers that was in the game? Bro, I met some of them beforehand mm. in Napa. Mm. But nothing... It's when you're moving around a thousand miles an hour, yeah. nothing sticks in yeah, your memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not thinking about who you met, mm. who you know, yeah. what's what, mm. what it is. My life was a hundred miles per hour. Yeah, nah, Kyle. Like, true, true, I've, I've done, like, um, word with them Birmingham mutes and that, innit? So even when I saw that, I knew that was dangerous. Okay. You yeah. know them ones that said blood clot? Yeah, you see, she her people, them's in the game. Like, mm, mm, get me, I so. met them afterwards as well, so it's, it's mad, it's mad. Um, it's like that time when it, when it all went down, it was like, yeah, it, as I said, I, 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 the story got ran, it come out, I'll never forget, I went to the, <laughs> I, I picked up my baby mother at six o'clock in the morning from the airport and, and, and I said to myself, oh, I swear that guy said it's going to drop Sunday or whatever. Mm. Picked up the paper and just, 
whatever, sitting in the car, and drove in off now. And then I just opened it and I saw my big face, yeah. big column. Yeah. And I knew my heart just yeah. said, nah, yeah. like, oh, it's gosh. not feel right. <laughs> like, it just said, like, something about yeah. love right or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and I, I, didn't even, I didn't even get to read the whole thing, but it was just saying some stuff. And yeah. I was just like, I knew my spirit, it didn't sink well with my spirit, bro. Mm. But let me tell you, fam, mm. I didn't even make it, because I picked her up from Gatwick yeah. Airport, bro. Mm. I didn't oh, even blowing. make it back to London. Seven o'clock in the morning, my mm. phone was blowing. ringing. Blowing. Blowing. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck have you done? <laughs> it is one of those moments. Mm. Mm. What have you done, bro? Mm. Boom, put the phone down. Next man. Bruh, yeah. man are laughing, mm, mm, mm. girl yeah. are cussing, no, Inspector. like, thing, family are calling, family cousins, this, mm. no, you're not meant to do that. Like, mm. I was getting yeah. it from the all... The kiss and tell things, yeah. man. I, 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 it was mm. just all too fast for me, I didn't even know, I was just like, what, what? You're better off laying. Bro, I, I was just like, it was just all... On some girl then, bro, it telling was just, the truth. It was just all one big ball and, and, and that was it. But you know me, yeah. typical Max, mm. me not business. Yeah, 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 you know, on. test, hi, what? Yeah, so what? I'll tell you mm. for free. What? What do you mean? Mm. Mm. Like that was my attitude at the time. Like, mm, mm. and then, and I didn't realize that what it was actually doing for me as my mm. name as a musician. Mm. I wasn't a street guy. Mm. I wasn't, mm. I, why are you still thinking like a street guy? Mm. You know what I'm saying? I need to think like a. You know what I mean? Like, what it's gonna do for my life in the future? Is that what you want with your name? Is that mm. what you want with your legacy? You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't mm. thinking about none of this stuff. I'll never forget. I got a, um, I got a booking. Mm. I'll never forget. Man goes, yeah, you got a show in Birmingham. I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So I went the thing, boom, 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 boom. And I remember someone saying to me, bruv, Birmingham boys are looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, i never forget that. And I was like, mm. what do you mean Birmingham boys? No one ain't phoned me. No one ain't said nothing to me or whatever. But, but I just kind of brushed it off. And I just thought, all right, cool. But anyway, I got... It was, God, blood influence driving, didn't it? Right, so... He told but, me, so, but, you, him and John and my dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I bought a couple of men from the ends. I said, ah... I want to go to Birmingham, you know. I got a show in Birmingham. I was like, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I said, yeah, but I don't know. I didn't know I had any sticky... I didn't know how sticky things were. You get me? So, mm. anyway, man got... It. But you know, let me tell you madness. Let me tell you how the spirit works. Imagine I put on my tracksuit, yeah, and I got ready, and then I said, ah, oh, I can't be bothered. You know them ones? You yeah. know that feeling mm. of that like... That was the double back. That was the, to, listen, yeah, I took my clothes to, was, off. That was when you was meant to And then chill. I said, you know what happened? You know what the devil said? Oh, I need the money though. <laughs> I said, I need the money though. I said, fuck it, man. I need the money, man. Mm. Put back on my tracksuit. Call a couple man. I said, all right, this is what we're going to do. I said, you, I said, like, let's take another car. You get mm. me? I was like, whatever. I said, no, you drive your car, you got the tints. Someone's mm. like, cool. I said, but I don't want to drive though. I said, well, we need some. I said, anyway, I won't even go into certain things. I want to pop up no one up or whatever. But anyway, but yeah, anyway, we drove down there. We got there. And it was weird because. When we got there, like, I went on the stage and there was some little next mess of pastor because I come with a couple other men, but they were just like little MC dons. They weren't no road man or anything. Yeah. It was some little mm. MC dons. They were in a couple other cars. So we got in there, whatever. But it's like everybody knew, what are you doing? doing? Yeah. Hey, you are brave. Yeah, you're yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah, mad yeah. dangerous. Yeah. Bruv, let me tell you something. Mad dangerous. It was funny because I done, went on the stage, done my little set. Then my little MC Don's got into some little fight with some other London man. I'm jumping off the stage, mid mid set, you know. What? Trying to like swing at a couple man and like London man, like what he's having beef, that got broke up, jump back on the stage. These must people must be thinking, who the hell? This nigga, this mm. guy is really. But what happened was now, mm. as I'm there, I've gone upstairs into the drum and bass room. I never was walking around the club, but every time I looked at someone, they looked at me and they were staring at me like five seconds. You know when you feel hot? Yeah. But I didn't really get it until I got outside. So when I went to the drum and bass room, i never forget, I opened the door and it was like, the whole rave just stopped and just looked at me and I just closed the door like, okay, this room okay. ain't for me. Like, this looked like the shadow demon room, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know if I could make it out of this room. <laughs> I don't know, I was on my own at the time and I looked and I come out the hat thing, so I thought, let me find these, look. So I got in the car, pop talking to a couple of girls from Wells and that, from Cardiff. So with their reasoning, but way that we parked the car, we parked it like straight, like into the wall. So we couldn't really, where we were sitting, we couldn't really see nothing. The car park was just behind us as in air, in air. So as all that's going on, whatever, whatever, we've, like I've just, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to tune in now. My sixth sense is starting to tune in. 
like I'm looking at people's faces, mm. I'm looking around, I'm energy. looking at the area, yeah, my energy started. I'm different. talking to her, yeah. but I'm not talking to her. Like mm. she's talking away, but I'm looking everything around her, like mm. left, right, where, where, wherever, wherever. Mm. And then I heard noises like, you know, when people try to rush the door, but they rushed it on the outside. <laughs> like I can hear like far distance noise. Like you know, I know the noises because mm. I know when I'm rushing the door. Mm. So I can hear all commotion and that. And I said to, I goes to man, turn around the car, man. Let's face the car park. Okay. Literally, as we got in, mm. turned around the car. Mm. I've just sitting there for two minutes now. I've just seen some balaclavas run up to a next car, but not my car. But I know these are just MC dons, innit? Mm. They've, they've never been Birmingham before. And it just clicked to me. I was like, that's for me. Mm. That's for me. I know that's for me. <laughs> right. Go, 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 go. Mm-hmm. So obviously, the gates left. Man's gone right. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. So I just gone left. I thought like, left would have been, been out of there. But... He went right, so he went sunk into the car park. So obviously, as we're going past them, mm. <laughs> we've kind of gone past the other car and gone right. And so the guy left. Man, are going, oh, he's in there, bro, he's in there. I heard some like, he's in there, man, he's in there, blood. Psh, back window went. Mm, cool shit, dude. Psh, next window went. Boom, boom, boom. Ting, 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 ting. BF, BF fire. As we're going around, we're going around in a circle. Vroom, vroom, vroom. As we're coming back to round to the gate, people are coming out of the. the like just you know when the car starts knocking people over, put mm. the and it just it just stopped there, and then yeah, bro, it was just it was off. I remember, forget the door opened, and I just see, yeah, it was a mad thing. The door mm-hmm. opened and like, mm. see yeah, ballys and that man pointing the thing. I closed back the door, and it just happened in slow mo. Just yeah, heard the bad said when one, you got, when you got back there was like beer shots in there. Yeah, yeah, I heard, it was it was mad because it was like so I heard one, one one big bang like one. And that bang, what I didn't know afterwards was my, it was a guy that, like, a guy from security company, like, and he was saying to me, because I'll get to hell with stuff afterwards, but never forget, it was like, when they were dancing around the car doing whatever they were doing, he was like, nah, man, like, like you get me? You sort of just, like, on some mad thing, so he just, like, raised his thing. And no, said, no, 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 he didn't, he didn't. That's what he said, that's what he said he to me. He didn't, he didn't. What did he say, what did he say? No, no, just he didn't. He didn't. He said, well, he said he raised his thing. No, and, no, no, he, he didn't. Just he what? didn't. No, just forget that. Yeah. Move on. You're oh, going sorry. Mad. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Mad. Am I going mad? You're going mad. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. sorry. Yeah. You can cut out that anyway. Yeah. So, but anyway, he done his thing, and um, he um, he just said to me like, yeah, at the end of the day, um, it ha- he just that whatever, and then mm-hmm. it just done the be. So then we left the thing, and that was it. We got got out of there. Not a scratch. Wait. It was a story to be told. Yeah, but that that to me, it was like you know. For me at the time, it was a, it was a mad thing because obviously, no, no one don't know what, who, what, where, what, mm-hmm, whatever. Mm-hmm. It was just like it was just the ends in it. So the mm-hmm. whole, uh, the whole ends must have been upset, mm-hmm. like seeing that the, the girls from their ends, yeah. blah blah yeah. blah, etc. Yeah. etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So for me, I just kind of looked looked at it as like you know what, I done a wrong. Like it was, I just took the L for myself yeah. and said like yeah. you know what. As like that could have been my sister or whatever, so I just kind of like just left it as that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just Learning left it as lessons. that. I didn't. Yeah, I weren't really. I just kind of felt like because it kind of affected my career in a way where people were scared to book man. Mm-hmm. They don't thinking, oh, is it gonna be drama? Is they gonna, you know, where, where, where? So I had to go through. I went through a little depression, bro. After that, mm. no one don't even know those things. Mm. Like, just not, not like yeah, just not knowing, mm. like who. Where to turn? Who's behind my back? What raise? I felt uncomfortable when I was going mm. to certain shows. So Mm-mm. yeah, I had a little depression thing for a little while, man. I didn't really want to do nothing. Mm. And then um, yeah, yeah. So that was that that whole episode. I ain't really even gone to it to depth. Like that's the first time I've actually gone into proper mm. depth mm. into it in an interview. I ain't really gone to depth of it. Mm. But as I said, are I'm you, old. Are you, in Bur- are you in Birmingham now? Ah, oh, that's my home. That's my mm. second home. Mm. Yeah, Can't yeah. get me out of Birmingham. Mm. I but love that's like Birmingham. One of the first. Oh. so that's kind of like one of the first ones where, um, like the like people like you know like some artists you have to you know you have got to fill out that thing. What's that called? You know that thing like if you if you're somewhere where they feel like crowds are gonna come and there's gonna be violence or whatever. You know what I'm talking like when they won't make certain rappers perform at certain places mm-hmm. because there's gonna be violence. Yeah, and it stuff comes like from that. the police or that. The- yeah. Basically, that you didn't really hear about that before, but now it was a lot because it's a lot of that. It was a lot of people that it was a lot of talk at the time, a lot of stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, it was it was a mad thing, but for me, it was it was a big, big, big learning curve. It was yeah. a, it was a thing for like, yo, like think about what you're doing, yeah. think about what's going on. But as I said, afterwards, it was more so like 
I had more time to reflect and was like, bro, do you know that you just put yourself in or that you mm. put yourself in that? Like, it wasn't mm. like someone come and troubled me. Mm. You know what I mean? I didn't, I just didn't understand what the, 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 the media and I was just too gassed and too mm. young and hyped to really even stop to think. It was one of those moments when he's like, yeah, I needed to slow down and it slowed me down. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what it was. The old God's like, slow down. Like, yeah. And, and it, yeah, it was, I needed it. I needed that. And it's like when you say when I went to prison, I needed prison. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I needed that. That was a, a turning point in my life with that with that whole episode with the whole community because mm -hmm. the the my the, my eldest my son's mum she was an air stewardess. So what when it was all noisy and people mm. were talking, I just flew around the world with her. You mm. know what I mean? I was just on ID nineties. People that know trap flight know about ID nineties. Um, you get the discount flight. Mm. I just go on the flights with her and we'd go Mexico, wherever she was working, I'd be around there. And it opened me up. Travelling mm -hmm. just opened me up. It was like it was a different look on life. I started writing about real stuff. Yeah. Me started being a bit more vulnerable with the mm -hmm. pen. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I come back different. It, it, it that little season between when it happened 04, you know what I mean, 05, that's when the grime scene was really starting to feel and that's when mm. I kinda mm. I was like away. yeah, I, I pulled away mm. and I met my international friends and started doing other stuff around the world and yeah so that was that was that man but um yeah because like how what's going on for you now mm -hmm. uh, oh so now? so yeah. that's a good thing you said that so basically what's happening over the years i traveled a lot i met some great people um i met my best friend who's best man at my wedding ruanga um he's a producer in los angeles yeah, i think i've seen a few tunes so what happened with him i met him on myspace and about round about Couple of years after all that madness happened, mm -hmm. and when MySpace was popping, we connected. I bought a beat of him, and we become friends. Then I travelled to LA. I used I was on Ludacris's album, um, Southern Ho Southern Hospital Chicken and Bear, oh. a few years back. Southern Hospitality remix. Wow. So from England, so you know the best of England. I'm on that track as well. So yeah, man. So who are you with? Who are you here with tonight? I'm here with tonight. I'm with Berkle Productions. So. Um, they, they, yeah, they, I've been coming back with them, forward, been working with them, so I've I, I done like a reggae album with them, so yeah, man, it's been popping. He introduced me to the whole Hollywood world, like the whole getting songs in movies and stuff. Yeah. Mm. My first song in the movie was Ted, and then, yeah, my Uber, really? that was my first song, that was my first check. And mm. then I got into other movies, and then I started, I started to find out about Sinks. Yeah. And then meanwhile, while I was doing all of that abroad and whatever, this whole new music started kicking in. Um, Funky started coming into place now, so that's what's going on. So meanwhile, while everyone's doing little bits of grime, I was just in the back and forth with America, just working with this guy, doing other bits and pieces, more on a dancehall mm -hmm, vibe, mm -hmm, you know. And then mm -hmm. when I come back round to England, everyone was just on this funky thing. I was like, right, this sounds like garage, though. Mm -hmm. This sounds like garage to mm -hmm. me. Like this is. So I said to a couple of DJs, yo, just send me some instrumentals, bro. Let me just come. I have my studio, little studio at home. And I just started voicing every rascal like, funky yeah, instrumental yeah. there was. Mm. Yeah. And I never forget, I just put on my Facebook, you know, anyone want to download this, all that. Mm. DJs want dub plates, hit me up. I'm charging for dubs on these, like, just doing a yard man thing. Yeah. Mm. And I never forget, I come across this this Blackberry hype instrumental was like, and I, I remember this guy to funky dance, and I was like, uh, 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 da, 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 da. and I was thinking, yeah, this song's banging. Mm. And a man from my bridge sent it to me, he was like, do me a dub on this, I got, I got a dance to play out. I listened to the beat and I was like, okay, okay. And I'll never forget, went to the shop, my bedroom goes to me, oh, you know, you're doing your Facebook and your internet stuff. If you get this Blackberry phone fam, it's like an office, bro. You can have it all the thing and mm. you get a pin in there and you can talk to anyone who's got the phone, <laughs> who's got the pin. You don't even need yeah, to take the number. <laughs> Bruv. I was like, is it? This time man's got blacklisted. I can't get no credit, no phone. So I was thinking, unless I bought the phone, I ain't going to get it. So I was like, oh, I'm not buying no phone for that mad P. So anyway, the neighbor, that was living next to him at the time. He worked in T-Mobile, innit? Mm -hmm. So a man said to him, I'm going to come to the shop on Saturday, innit? Like, pattern me, man. Try and get me your things. I'm going to try, I'm going to try. I don't know, he's going to go through the system. But the system <laughs> allowed me, fam. I went there, got my little test. He said, yeah, you got the phone. I said, shut up. He said, I got the Blackberry, yeah? Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> All yeah. I kept on saying for that day, yeah, man, I'm on a Blackberry hype. And mm -hmm. I don't forget to I said to T-Mobile, I said, yeah, I'm on a Blackberry hype, you know? Email, text me. I'm on a Blackberry hype. And I kept on saying it for a, Days and days. So when this tune come now, I kind of constructed a little hook already. Yeah. Like, brother, just press record and just yeah. started freestyling yeah. about phones. Mm. Like, just about phones. Like, 
like literally the air on air. I could literally see myself on this. I did one take and literally just press record and then I sent my bridge in the dub. I said to him, yeah, bro, I've done this sort of thing. Tell me what you think of it. He goes, yeah, you're smart. This beat's shutting it down. He goes, mm. yeah, yeah. And the phones as well. The Blackberries are current. Yeah, you smashed it. I'm yeah. based on that. Yeah. He played it. He said, fam, next morning, he goes, bruv, he got three reloads last night. They were going, man, everyone's like, so who's this on the tune? Who's that? Who's that? Mm, He's mm, like, it's mm. Maxwell. He's like, shut up. And that was it. That was the beginning. And then some leads you contacted me one day. Because I remember all these London DJs were going on funny. Yeah. Oh, you dumped the man on his tune. Yeah, he don't funny. He don't, he don't want you in the tune. And I'm Maxwell, bruv. What do you mean, man, don't want me in the tune? What mm. do you mean? I'm already established. Mm. You mean I'm doing my man a favour? Mm. This is I'm looking, that's how I was viewing I was being a bit it, it might seem a bit ignorant but in my head I was thinking right how's man being funny about this tune but anyway this leads you goes to me yo your tune's busting up Leeds and rare 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 mm. so I went down to him to the barber shop and he brought me to the hood in Leeds in the Chapel barber shop yeah one mm. of them ends in Leeds and I was just in the hood and I was in the barber shop and all these females coming through me there yo Max D bro mm. like mm. spotted me and yeah and then we, we done a little skit little vlog this is before I knew about vlogs and all that mm, this, mm, is mm. Bef- this was uh, Instagram wasn't even landed yet and I've done a little vlog and then remember we was in a barber shop and they were all gassed and I thought yeah okay before I knew it I've come back to, in, to London and that was it the promoters were calling me and was on the road so that's where the Blackberry hype kicked in so what brings me to this day is that I decided um, after the Blackberry hypes after pursuing my career for so long uh, I just had a little I had another child you know what I'm saying I had a little girl and um, just the, the life life caught up with me, bro. Yeah. Mm. Like the real stuff, though. Yeah. Like the real stuff. Like all the childhood trauma caught back up with me. The stresses with the mums were catching up with me. Can't see your youth. Adulthood. Like, it, it, oh, right. You Adulthood. Know, <laughs> juggling the bills. Like yeah. you got to pay things, trying to invest in the music. Mm. Like it all just started wobbling. And then um, I just, yeah, I, I just had, I was having, I just said, I just wanted to get away. I just went and lived in America. I, I moved out there. I met a girl, went out there. I got I got a child over there in America as well now. Um Noah's like, where's well, he gonna be five soon? So um went out there for a little while and I was living in America, oh sixteen, and then that didn't work out. Come back to England, um got myself together and then in over oh seventeen I, I met, well I didn't meet her, I knew her from she's from my area, she's from yeah. Leighton. And I just got with someone that I knew, and then we ended up getting married. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like because he was like on and you off. Know, it was like, friends for, first. Yeah, he was like for a while. You know what yeah. is like what you said. He like you from I've known you. It's like you've circle, always got a gal. Yeah, it's like <laughs> like what you, what you say about trauma and that. See, like people like us, we're always in the street so much. Yeah, it's like I think we look for love, mm. like. Anywhere, you know, mm. like mm. not like anyone showing us a bit of love. It's true, though. We're open to it. It's so, true. Mm. You get what I'm yeah, saying? that's a real talk. Mm. Because it's mm. like, mm. if you, you say that, because that's one of the reasons, most really, why I become a musician. Yeah. It was the love from the crowd. Mm. Yeah. It was the the lack of love that you're mm. getting from your home. Yeah. You know, I saw it in the crowd, and that made me feel good. The mm. gums made me feel good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, the mandem made me feel like you know mm-hmm. that wasn't getting. The, maybe the lack, the lack of obviously you know your mum loved you and your dad mm-hmm. loved you, but it wasn't in that way where how busy. I'm with my how I'm yeah. with how mm. we with our children yeah. now. You know what I mean? I, I my son's big man, creatives. I'm hugging him straight. Mm. Yeah, I find yeah. That you know normal. Yeah. normal. Come on, mm. I find that with creatives in general, like there's always like a backstory. Do you mm. understand? Especially like when you're somebody that that creates a lot and stuff like that, it's, it comes from back. You know what I mean? Like something that you lacked and then you create your own reality. Do you know what I mean? I was in foster care from the age of 14 to just up until 16, I'll say, because I was in 16 plus. So, yeah, and that in itself, when you got to go inside another family home and you're, you're, you're looking at other people's mum and dads mm. and they're treating you with love, but it's not your own people, mm. it does something to you. Yeah. Mm. You feel that you're not loved. Yeah. And that turned me onto the streets yeah. mm-hmm. because I was like, oh, if There's my own mum and dad don't love me, yeah. me not give a damn about mm-hmm. anybody then. Like yeah. like that. Like it was easy to take mm. up boys' things because it yeah, was like, yeah, well, I don't really give yeah. a shit about you, bro. Like, mm. I don't get it from home. Yeah. So you ain't getting it from me. And that, that was the attitude that I, I went to the road with. So yeah, when I bounced into the foster care world, it was mad because when I ended up with someone I was hanging around with already on the street and his mum fostered me, that mm. was like, Come on. yeah, that was a whole other thing. Yeah. It was like, right, my bridge's mum fostered me. That was like, mm. yeah, it was just, it, it, that was a whole next thing as well. 
So living around the corner from my mum's house, mm. big up Foster by it. Yeah, big up, big up my brother Leon Gittins. Yeah. Like his mum fostered me from the age of like fourteen when I got no fifteen when I got with her. I oh. spent a year with her, but I really hung around with him anyway from my end. Yeah. So it was crazy. So um, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. What you just said was very valuable there because yeah. that is what it is. I think that's what a lot of these kids mm. out here. It's the lack of love. Mm, mm, mm. So we look for love so within, our friends, within yeah. our friends, within our community. And then the street raises you. And depending on who gets us, it mm. can go either yeah, way. Yeah. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't get Easily nurtured by the right people. Yeah, cool. Easily. Easily. You know what I mean? It doesn't take much. When someone's trying to put money in your pocket, but whatever intentions they're trying to put money in your pocket for, whether mm-hmm. it benefits them, you know, whether it puts a little change in your pocket, what, no matter what way it is, you're going to take it. Because if your own family ain't even showing you the ropes, or putting you on a certain platform or giving you that, that acknowledgement or foundation, you're gonna just you know fall into the wrong hands. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're and telling me that you were telling me that you're mentoring now as well. Yes, yeah, so what happened was in when I got back from America and, yeah. and obviously I got married and stuff like that, I realized she like even my wife was saying to me, like, yo, you're more than just an artist, you know. Like you're more than just you have so much like I've just sat down and give you a little brief paragraph or window out of my life and you know me differently like I mean so it was like I have way too much to give the next Mm. generation and they could go through so much not only the street side of it the the, the, the trauma side of it the family side of it like actually the musical side of it as well and I just thought to myself well okay my son I looked at my son and I just said yo he said to me one day he goes oh dad like um, what do you think of these rappers and this and that and I'm thinking Mm. right you know your dad's still cool, you know? Like, yeah. That's my little... Uh, yeah. that's the, I know these people. Mm. And I just thinking, wow, my son's listening to these people. And I just thinking, yo, it's that time now. My son's catching up. Mm-hmm. So I can't be on... Yeah, you need to pattern up. Yeah, I can't be just talking one bagger, wagger, wagger, bagger just to, to, to keep in the industry, to keep relevant. Mm. I, I got to now carve out my lane. That was my legacy. What am I going to... So I, deci- I decided that... um. I want to give back. And the first thing was, my brethren called me one day. He's, he's a prison guard. Big, he's my business partner now. He's a prison, he was a prison guard at the time. And he was like, yo. Sure. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? He was a, he was a prison guard. No, he's a good guy. He's a white yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a, his name's Giles. Sure. He's a good guy. Poor and um, sure. he's a, um, a decent man. So he goes to me, yeah, what, Max? He goes, you know you got bare fans in there? And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, nah, man. When I mention your name, like I know like Max is my mate. You know what I mean? Like, he's a white guy, you know what I mean? Mm. You never, you never think this guy's a cool guy, you get me? You never think he's really um, connected to me. He's like, yeah, I mentioned your name in the prison. They're like, yo, yeah, we know Maxwell D. Da, da, da. He's like, you know what? I've got guys coming in there, they're doing their little things, testimonies, whatever, and they think, you should do your own workshop and that. And I was like, me, workshop? I thought, but where I've been doing little bits of stuff in that world anyway, I said, all right, cool. I wrote myself a workshop yeah. and, I, and I started. And I got into the mount, and then that was it. It opened up my eyes to the whole thing. Then I got, then I started the charity with, and it's, I'm on a charity with this uh, London Village Network. This um, girl named Rachel, she's the CEO of it, and we're on the board, on a trustee board. And then, um, and then I started teaching. I started because I, I just literally music teacher assistant and stepped my way up, yes. and I started going to Prues, so Prues so mainstream workshops, yeah. charity, and that just carved a whole another world for yeah. me like yeah. literally just like become my whole new bread and butter mm. it was like mm. huh mm. i never knew there was peas yeah. like, i didn't mean no, it weren't, i'm not doing yeah, it for the money yeah, I didn't know, but, not, it's not still, about the money but, yeah. it's just about but Allegedly. i didn't know that, it, that that there was another world i i did i just music 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 music, music. Mm. and all mm. i know from the street is the street if, I, if mm. this ain't gonna work i'm gonna go back to the streets you know mm. <laughs> that mm. kind of actually but when i realized that people out there that need and then when I started doing, when I done the workshops and I said, right, if I can do prisons, I can do anything. Mm, yeah. mm. You know what I mean? When I went into the prisons and I saw my own man, I'm thinking, yo, I was on the side of the fence mm. going yeah. through these gates, going yeah. through the de- metal detectors. Yeah, no, no, I've done a few of them. Yeah. I've done a few of them mental. I've mm. done bricks and scrubs and all yeah. that, yeah. But so, you see, like, see, like, when you finish, like, you feel so good. Like, yeah. So good, innit? Mm. Like, Charges you Because know, like, even the, them, even the prisoners, how, how good they feel when they leave. Mm. You just feel good even for Especially that. when that they can that. recognize themselves in somebody else. Mm, you know, mm, like mm. when it's different when somebody that they, you know, that can come in and say, oh, you've got to do better or whatever. But when they can see somebody that they can relate with, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 100%. It, it well, makes them feel much better. Yeah, they feel what, free for a yeah. couple of hours. Come on. Me. Do you like Eva and that key for life? Yeah. I mean, for me, um, 
when I go in, when I went in there and I saw the love mm. that they have for man, and it's like, and and then seeing when the course finished, how much the engagement, like, mm. so people still holler at me to this day. I still, I made some, you know, friends in there mm. that I've come out and gone, rah, I didn't know about trademarking. I didn't yeah. know how to do a business. Yeah. I didn't know about X, Y, Z. I didn't know your tune gets, you get paid for this much, your tune gets on the radio. I didn't know this works out like that. I didn't know, mm. like, man, like, so it was like, there was a whole insight. And that man, I come mm. in, I'm like, yo, I'm doing my thing. I got this and that. I'm like, that that's was this. That was it. That was that's it for me. Good. I was like, I belong yeah. here. You know, yeah. like I realized, I was like, that's my calling. Like yeah. I'm, I'm 42 years of mm. age. I ain't 21 no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So the, my mind's changed. My life changed, and that's what brought me to where I am to this to this day. So mm. all of that, everything that we just spoke about, the yeah. music is all still there and stuff. I still, you know, release music and still travel or whatever and do my shows and festivals. But like, I just, I just grew up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I just grew yeah, up, yeah. and and it's like. Come on. It, yeah, you know what I mean right. you, have to, you yeah. have to fit your age I ain't saying that man don't, you know man can't talk certain things or be a certain mm. person but it's just like right. it's, it, yeah my child has to look up to me my children yeah. have mm. to look up to me in a certain way now so I have to give a whole different perspective of life it's like yo like I can't like certain tunes I'm looking for the radio edit mm. <laughs> you know, like, mm. like mm. sometimes I don't really want him to, uh, to sing along to certain things or you know I, I'm just more cautious of you know oh, what I mean yeah. of now where before it was just reckless young little kid doing his thing but now as a mature adult as a father mm. as a husband as a, as a mentor you know what I mean I look spiritual? at very very oh, okay. Cause that's what you do you know what? I didn't yeah. even, we didn't even touch on that because that's what changed that's, that's what I, what I can hear it point. because when, I can hear it because with, so when you're more spiritual you're more aware of what you put put, put out into the world I want to give you some books you that changed my life saying, conversations so. with God mm-hmm. I know that how book. to outwit the devil mm. think and grow rich um Obviously, The Secret was the yeah. first one. Mm. That's what my friend Ruanga, his dad gave me when I was mm. in LA the first mm-hmm, time. Mm-hmm. He gave me the DVD. Mm. I didn't know about the law of attraction or mm-hmm, the universe. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even interested in that. So I didn't, I didn't, when I got the DVD, that blew my mind yeah. away. Then my friend gave me conversations with God. And then it all started from those spiritual yeah. books. Is that the, the journey? It was just the journey, yeah. the journey, journey. And then that's when, yeah, you're right. So when you say spiritual, yeah, that's my thing. I got yeah, my beads, I, I, got my, I got my, sh- my chakra beads. Because with growth I mean, comes wisdom. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. And obviously, you've got your kids that need to... Do you understand? So you're more aware of what you're saying, what your things... And, and that all comes with growth. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? I appreciate yeah. that, Yeah, so how's it going, like, with the prison? Like, you know, like, with the COVID? Because I read an article yes. and they wrote about you in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they was talking about you doing... They're trying to do clickbait on me, man. Is mm. it? ex armor but teachers, prisoners. Oh, mm, I was like, no, but, but, but you know, let me tell you how I dealt with it, though. When yeah. they first, the first one, they put ex armor but I didn't give the interview. Mm. Like, they wanted to interview me. I didn't mm. give the interview. Then they ran off and they tried to do a little clickbait thing. And said, so I, I contacted one of my journalist friends and said, yo, this is what the Daily Mail are trying to, um, they're trying to deal with. Mm. So he said to me, all right, boom, he contacted them. He said, look, not happy. Max yeah. is steaming. We'll, yeah. you know, we'll try to go to, obviously I can't see a big paper like that, but we'll mm. get into legal proceedings. And they were like, mm. oh, what does he want? What does he want? He said, well, I want another story and I want some money yeah. for that. This, like, yeah. So they gave me a little change yeah. and they gave me a next story, like a proper story Good. where I actually done the interview. Yeah. Yeah. And then they wrote about me. So yeah, it was, it was like it was nice to see that mm. my workshops finally, you know, yeah. getting noticed. Yeah, getting noticed. Yeah, and, and another part of my life. So, we, so, so the COVID thing killed everything. Mm. My list was, you know, what I mean, like the mentoring thing was just starting to take off mm. for me. And then COVID happened. Like literally, I had prisons, like Preston Prison. Um, I just had an interview recently in Thameside Prison. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, and other prisons will contact me. Aylesbury. You know what I mean? They're on my they're on my phone this this year. And it was all because of COVID that it was yeah. all going and it just messed up a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. And lost a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. No, big up, man. Big up for the transition, blood, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's a, it's yeah, a, you're up again, <laughs> man. Trust me. It's, awesome. a hard, it's, going... it's not an easy journey, as you can see. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Mm. But you get me? It's not easy The fact at all. that we are mm. both here talking about this is, is a big thing in itself. Mm. Because it's what people don't know about how I know you and mm. what I know about you. Like, mm. I know him differently like you know what I'm saying I know, you know what I mean I know you differently so it's 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 crazy because we come from the street we do our thing we carry, continue doing whatever our things in life mm. so for me when I see you I was like yeah man you that's like you are you don't belong mm. the transition should have been early for mm. you because I knew you was intelligent. I knew your mum was a teacher. Mm. You know what I'm saying I knew you could rap from time ago. Mm. So when I saw you new, new start, I wasn't surprised. 
Mm. I was like, well, hurry up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, mm. So, it, and then it's like, yo, but I get it. When we're involved in, in the roles or whatever we're involved in, it, it's, it's just the lifestyle. It always is the way. But I always looked at you as a good hearted you. Like yeah. I've always seen the good goodness in what, in you. Mm. Because whenever I see you, it's just love. Because mm-hmm. we're just going back to our childhood. Mm-hmm. We're not, we're not, we don't, none of this yeah, facade yeah, yeah. or mm. Maxwell or Sprint. Mm-hmm. Like, is it, we just drop all of that because mm-hmm. we just look at each other as kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when we used to go and do our little madness, that's how we see God each other. Yeah. So that's the love that we have for each other. So it's like, I, whatever. Anyone says about either of us, yeah. it doesn't it, it, it doesn't mean anything because we we yeah, know, know each other know it, yeah. personally, mm. and yeah. that's all that matters. And I think so. When you said to me, like, "Yo, come and do podcast," I was like, "Yeah, of course, man." Like, it's just like that's a no-brainer. Yeah, you know what I mean? But mm. for me, it's like hopefully people see you doing positive things in the community mm. and seeing that if a man like you, mm. bad people <laughs> pick me, yeah, yeah, can make the trust and me, mm. you know, mm. like yeah. we was, we the runts, you know. Come like, on. We would like, like, uh, this is not no gassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not like we're looking for hype or mm, anything. Mm, mm. Not, we not didn't do badness to fit in. We exactly, were doing yeah. badness to survive. Mm. Exactly. Like it wasn't a fashion thing. Mm. It was a survival thing. And I'm saying, so for me, people don't understand it. when there was a chance to get away from it, man, we're getting away from it. Because mm. it's like, yo, I won't mm. do this forever. You know what I'm mm. saying? Mm-hmm. But obviously, I understood what a lot of people didn't understand at the time is that I had to, I had to drop everybody. And that's yeah. the hard part. Mm. It's the hardest thing you ever do because you're going to get the backlash. Mm. Oh, fuck my man. Yeah. He thinks he's done better than everyone now. Mm. Oh, fuck this or whatever. Can't this do or that. It without, when but you're I with knew, them. I it's knew the world would have swallowed me back in because mm. uh, someone would have drawn me out. And then I had to do, you know what I mean? So I know, I knew what it was. And I knew it from early because I got a taste early. Yeah. You know what I'm mm. saying? And that taste, as I said to you, all these little things prep me, the whole, yeah. the Jamelia things, or all Everything. those things prep me, like early to mm. Elevation to, to kinda, requires isolation. Do you understand? Yeah, wow. no, and so at the end of the day, with the Jamelia thing, you've got to look at it like, when I'm listening to your story, it sounds like a fork in the road. Because mm. it sounds like you kind of, kind of had a reckless kind of it mentality. It was reckless mentality. So you could have either stayed reckless and had something serious could have happened. Worse. Or you use that as a way, oh, nah, do you know what? Let me just... You need wake then, up calls. Yeah, do you, you get what them. I'm saying? So God knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. God knows exactly how much we can take. Exactly. You know, you know what I mean? Definitely. He yeah. knows exactly what we can take and he knows when's enough's enough. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I think for me, that was an early wake up call. Mm-hmm. Other things happened as well, other wake up calls. And it just, and it, and yeah, and as I said to you, even like, because you might think that was a wake up call, but when I went to live in America mm. and all that pass happened, that was a whole nother thing mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. That, that, that was worse than the, 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 the mm-hmm. show mm-hmm. sweetness because it's like we're dealing with emotions here. Yeah. We're dealing with our kids, kids and love yeah, and your yeah, heartstrings yeah, and yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it was the next thing. I didn't know I was going to make it, man. Like mm-hmm. I was thinking I never, you know, I didn't, I got a son in America. I didn't think I'm ever going to see him or whatever. It was, it was mm-hmm. a whole next thing for me. So picking myself back up, looking in the mirror and, and brushing it all off yeah. and, mm-hmm. and saying, right. And, and then tapping to, into other, other talents yeah, and other stuff. Other things and other mm-hmm. lanes in your life. And so when I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this podcast, I'm thinking, you see what I'm saying? Now you're mm-hmm. using your wisdom, mm-hmm. your life story, your background to kind of now show <coughs> them like where the youngsters want to look up to you and be like, yo, yeah, I'm, he's bad, big, bad spray or rare, rare, rare. But now they're going to look at you and see you in front of this camera and be like, mm-hmm. yo, I see my man elevated and interviewing stars or other people and talking about certain things and that's something to grow off and you can now tell certain people you can see a million things that are going to mm. happen before it even happens yeah come so on fam. you'll be able to guide save a lot of people's lives and mm. that's what we're here for when we get to a certain platform it is a turning point yeah or you will get sucked yeah that, it, that's mm-hmm. this is how it, it goes in every corner of this world i've seen it in all these mm. different parts you have to get to a point where you're like yo I need to give back. Giving back is a part of this whole thing. Of course. No, definitely. You mean? I'm going to go into the current affairs yeah, now. Yeah, go for it, man. Current affairs now. Yeah. Okay. Right, so the first one okay. on the current affairs is, um, do you know the baby? Yes, I the do. The rapper? Yes. So you know the baby in his yeah. brain, yeah, yeah. right? So basically, so he performed <laughs> at he performed at Rolling Loud. Did you hear about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. He's got to perform at Rolling God, she Loud. Gets political. With so yeah, for all those that don't know what happened, he performed at Rolling Loud, and at the end of his set, he started like saying stuff like, "Put your light, light, put your lighter in, put your lighter in the air, if um if you ain't got HIV, 
put your lighter in there if you smell like water and stuff like that if you ain't doing certain things in the car park but he was talking about gay stuff so anyways the backlash what he got from mm, that I saw it mm. madness like literally it's like they're trying to cancel him from it so part life has kicked them off he was meant to perform at part life Why weren't, they, weren't, weren't there bare lighters didn't bare people put up their lighters but you know what? Listen, I'm trying to put the way how I saw the way how I saw the way how I saw they put their lighters. What's wrong? I don't know because I just saw him saying it in it. He's like, if your pussy smell like water, I would have been like, what world we are in? We are in 2000. Yeah, continue. Like, yeah. So basically, and then you know, like he said about um, he said about in sucking dick in the car park about guys. So he's. DJ, I could hear saying, yeah, because there's a lot of undercover. You know, that's what I could hear. So they, you know what they're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Like, but, but. Right. That community, yeah. Went well, for him. Yeah. Yeah. They fully, LGBT fully, 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 to. fully went for him. They're um, like a gang, you know. Elton, Elton John, <laughs> Madonna, people have taken them, taken his songs off, like, um, Songs that he's done with massive artists have taken him off oh, their songs. Getting him like that. Literally, boohoo, the campaign, they've disassociated themselves with him. Like, it's literally really deep. Like, they're, they've, it's, it's, it's a lot. Do you get me? So, I am even don't even know how to talk about it too tough because I, mean, I was thinking to myself, yeah, then they couldn't go to, like, a yard rave or nothing like that. Because have you heard the DJs, what they tell you to put your lighter in the air for? Mm. Different, no, not being funny, but like you it's know, the culture is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's from you know that like, they're, they're, re- they're not even rating. They, they are good. They're not like, even rating fucking say, a girl, like, You understand? Like they're, they're not even, going they're not even like, rating anybody. <laughs> I don't know no, how to they, say it, but gay. I was to thinking gay, to myself, anybody. If you're not a fuck body, like, <laughs> like, but anyway, so it depends on in the way you look at it. Like you know, they're guy mad in If it was, yeah, there's certain people that, but they're guy mad in Obviously, he's spoken about people with a. Like, and they're not so they're obviously the sit the severity they're not interested in LGBT in the lo- right. in the yard dance they're not interested <laughs> they definitely don't care about LGBT right. in the yard dance but the severity of it is but we're like so about he spoke the right. oh, it needs so to go, he's spoken about against people with AIDS and, and HIV with massacre or something. okay so there's obviously people that have got that yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they've contracted that do you yeah, understand they couldn't put their lighter up and Obviously, he's looking at it like it's a bad thing, but you don't know how they contracted it or anything. Yeah, they couldn't put the lighter they could, up. Yeah, so basically, they're, they're, upset, they're, upset. they're, yeah, they're upset, upset in it. Like, Just it's that out, they couldn't put the lighter outrage, up, though. You know what I mean? What's Personally, your thoughts? My, um, okay, I, my, this what it is, is that I've been raised in a different culture to that to the, to the world, but I understand the so world that I'm living in yeah. today. Like, I get it's it. It's like what you were saying like, before, like what you say in it, you've got to be careful. I will say this, like, it's mad because I was very ignorant when I was younger. Yeah. And it's only until I started travelling, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And I place sit next to gay people and, and yes. talking to people. They're just yeah. normal people, just yeah. like everybody else. Yeah. What they do in their, their bedroom and whatever they're doing is that's their business, isn't it? So, mm-hmm. like, it's I didn't really... You know, no one ain't touching my body like that, so it doesn't. It didn't have no thing. So why I view these things is that, like, you gotta understand. Like, this is not like yeah. when you're speaking. In. Think about you speaking because obviously these artists have got no filter. Yeah. But they're people that are buying your music. You don't even know who's buying your music, bro. Exactly. Like, understand who's buying your music. Like, as all different walks of life are buying music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Straight, gen, whatever, they're buying music. So mm. I think you have to really know what you're saying these days. I think people yeah. lose themselves a little bit because... No, it is. When you've got like, power of influence, you have to be careful, innit? Yeah, like, there's no, but, people, there's, ba- there's see, people like 50, in Africa 50, dying of AIDS and stuff. You can't just be saying they are going to die in three but weeks. He, but put your life in what he wants, but he, he sold up. But, you, but he ain't talking, he will never go, he won't fight. Yo, you little faggot, you little faggot, he says it all the time. Does he? Yeah, he's not on that. Yeah, he says ones and twos, but I don't. I think with 50, it's like... 50 He's the unknown for you, faggot ass nigga. That he's on No, that. but he right. said if you're not gonna die, if you ain't got any of them diseases that ain't gonna kill you within like three weeks or whatever, put your lighter in the air. That's mm. insensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's just young and just going yeah, mad, but isn't he? I feel like I, d- I don't think he. I just. I, yeah, I, I don't think he done it maliciously. But I'm not. I'm not on the cancelling thing. I anyway. think he got caught. Up he got in caught the in the moment. Yeah. Gassed himself up. 
And yeah, I he, think he ripped that man. He never got caught in a moment. He ripped that. He was came there no, ready to say that. Oh, he might have listened to him. He might have listened to him. There's no way. There's no way you just on your head. Before he went on stage or something. Fam, we're all, we're, there's three artists here on the mic. Mm. What do you just think of that? Just boom. I'm just gonna say this. If you ain't got HIV, well, it he could came maybe, there ready to say that. Could be. You know, you it's, it's publicity scandals these days. Came there ready to say that. That was a PR stunt. He's a madman. You get what I'm saying? He didn't think it was gonna go so crazy against him. You get me? Before mm-hmm. he's gonna get away with said madness and I mean, he's young in it. I'm is, not even on the baby. I'm not even on the cancelling thing anyway. How old is the baby? I think he's in his twenties, like maybe mid to late twenties, maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe well, mid twenties. Well, there you okay. go. I mean, would you? I mean, at twenty, and he's then, totally unedited. You can see the type of videos he does and everything. Like he, he just looks like I he's like caught in them. Yeah, I think he taps pop. Mm. Like I can't understand what he's saying. I don't mm. know what he's saying. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> I, I'm not disrespecting the baby. I think he's a, like he's he's obviously got where he's got for a, for a reason. Mm. But I don't listen to some of that music because yeah. I don't. If I don't understand what you're saying, then what am I vibing to? Yeah, you yeah. could be saying lick out all sorts of things. Yeah. I don't know what you're and talking like, about. Like a, a lot of the mumble rap is a vibe. Mm. Yeah. Instead of the actual like from where we're uh, the era that we're now nah, the on. beats the beats are hard though mm. the beats are definitely the beats hard, are hard still. that's that's why it's a vibe yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why it's a vibe, vibe but what you're actually it. saying uh, yeah, you know, they're not need, lyricists no like I that. need to listen to they're certain things so, they're not uh, like from our generation yeah, exactly so, and yeah, exactly like. so it's it's hard to kind of digest some of the music you know what I mean my son scores me with a couple little ones and twos I'm like oh that's a kind of catchy tune but other than that well big him up though what else is going on so basically Dr Dre. What's going on with Dre? Dr. Dre basically um, was going through like divorce with his wife. Oh, is that the one that wanted the free mil for child support? No, 300k so a month. So he's, he's, he's been ordered to pay back 300k a month for spousal support. I think that's I think it's spousal support. So that roughly works out to like three mil a year. Yeah, that's so, and they're saying like that's not the only thing like she can claim. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's other stuff that apparently she can claim. And the only way out of those payments is if she remarries or if, you know... Or yeah, well, she's dying. not going to remarry. Bruv, so I'll give her a okay. studio and a keyboard and say, right, you want all this pee? Make me some beats. Go and make me some beats because that's how I done it. Yeah? Mm. Go and make me some beats because that's how I done it. You want, you want half of this? Yeah, of course it's, it's out. What do you think... It's banned out of yeah, order. What do you Who think she could have said to make them give her 3 k a month? 300. 300. I mean, yeah, 300 grand a yeah. month. Yeah, it's banging out of order. He's earning mad. It doesn't matter. It's you not see about what me. he's earning. It's see, yeah, about that's, what, that, what... That's, it's, that's it's how a, they do it. Really? I swear they do it. Really? Much, like, yeah, in, in I thought in America, like, depending on how you... It's all about how much you earn. It's They don't care about none of that. They don't care what the kid needs. The kid could need 1K a month. They don't care. Wow. My whole thing... My whole thing is it's always the man... That gets the, the short end of the stick. Always, it's designed like, that way. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because it's like, all right, we've broken up. We're divorced now. But you know what you it is? You know why? Do you know why the majority of it is mm. because... We run. Ma- Some men do mm. runners, mm. isn't it? But yeah, I, you know, but you see what they say. Like, they like, oh, like some people like, oh, but you made them accustomed to a certain life and all that. But some right, people's cool. why, but if you're married and you're mm. in a partnership, right? <laughs> Mm. And at the end of the day, like some some most marriages, the man is the is the head of the household. Mm. Mm. A lot of women play the background. Mm. Yeah, that's up to them. Hold on, I'm just saying. Mm. A mm. lot of I women know with this. play mm. the background yeah, the same for their husband, husband mm-hmm. to saying. provide. You know, to make the majority mm. of the money mm. to become the the face of. Do you mm. understand? Athletes, musicians, and whatever you lot are the face of. Uh, well, if you're in a if you're in a marriage yeah. and a partnership. A lot of you lot are the face of. She and a lot goes into you being the face of. Mm. Do you understand? People are there and they, they help you get to where mm. you are. And a lot of them are they just They help you diggers. in your mental. They help you in your household. They help you mm. prep your meals. So how they about help all of that stuff. So mm. 100%. When, when, but why do when, you need 300k a month I never now? said... I'm just not talking about the 300k, no, I'm just, I'm just but just I'm just saying the, like... I'm just waiting for where it gets to why you need 300k. You know, all right, thank you for that. Thank you for that. No, thank you for you done all of that. You done, you I looked after the thing. kids, the which is what you're supposed to do as a mother, because my mother looked after me. Mm. You done for everything free. you're supposed for to do. Free. So <laughs> now you should get 300k um, for free. a month. Yeah, I, I never stopped you from going to work. You get what I'm saying? I've never stopped you from going to work. Exactly. You can pick up your sock, your dusty sock, and go work. You get what I'm saying? I never stopped you from going to work. But what about... What but about see, see no, that? No, let me, some, wait, wait, some, wait, wait, let me just say something. See Sharia law, yeah? I mean, I'm not sure if I... I think I've got it right. See, like, when you marry, yeah? see when you divorce? Yeah. What's his is his, still his. Okay. What's hers is still hers. Okay. Like, when you get married, yeah? When you get married, it is the man's duty 
yeah, to look after everything, pay for yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Whether or not she's got a job, she can have a job, whatever. It's still his duty mm -hmm. to pay for everything. Mm -hmm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? That's that's just how it is, yeah? It's his duty. She could save, she could... It's up to her if she wants to mm -hmm. give him money or whatever, buy him. But that's his duty, yeah? But when you divorce... What's he yours keeps is yours? It, what's yours is yours. You go back to where you, you came from or okay. whatever. That's just how it is. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I, I more agree with that because I just don't see how... Like three hundred k a month. I don't totally. Three hundred k a month. How much years she put into that relationship? <coughs> right, she like, doesn't matter. She might not be in a he position to make as much money again when, 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 when they get married. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like I understand. Like, I don't think we, she should get three hundred k neither. But yeah. I do definitely believe that a wife or a wife plays a big part oh, in, in 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 um in behind every strong man. No, no mm. behind a strong man, they say is, I'm talking people in partnerships. There's mm. people that ain't in relationships that are doing good. But I'm talking about partnerships. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Real relationships. But when you meet your your partner, mm. you lot build together and you lot grow. Correct. Mm. Do you understand? When Correct. you marry, you marry for life. You think it's going to be forever anyway. Correct. So mm. you're not marrying to divorce. Correct. You're mm. not going to think you're going to be left out on your mm. ear or whatever. Correct. And mm. your husband's made you accustomed to a certain lifestyle and whatever, whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? So do, do, do if it's because of him... Then? Do we need a prenup then? Maybe. Mm. But if it's because of him, why they broke up? then he deserves to give her something. Yeah, because something. he's broken no one, an agreement, which you know is what? your marriage vows. Do you know what? My whole, thing, yeah. my, whole thing, my whole thing is like, What's all right, cool. Yeah, break off. That's cool. I'm not even disagreeing with he needs to break off and he needs to support mm. yeah, the children. Fine. You don't need to get 300k. No. Yeah, the, you don't need to get yeah, the, a big cool. lump of my money. You don't need to because we've, we've broken up now. Do you get? It's up to me. It should be up to me if I want to give you 300k or not. You get me? I shouldn't have to be forced to give you 300k mm. a month. Do you get mm. what I'm trying to say? But because maybe it's because for all these years, all these years, the you, know, you, know me, you, know, you know what you know what makes me you know what you know what makes me laugh. Look at you it. know what makes me laugh. <laughs> See, for all these years, yeah, you got women they've been fighting for equal rights. Oh yeah, we want to be equal, but it's suit. They only want to be equal when it's to suit them. Do you get what I'm saying? They don't want to be equal when it's time when we, we've got divorced now, and but you lot don't want to be equal now. But you fought for equal <laughs> rights. So do you get what I'm trying to say? But if it's a rich woman, in, in the other way round, you don't get the rich woman stuff. You don't get their stuff. Yeah. Like if it's a rich woman, so what's, what goes on there? Where's no, my you, 300k a, a, a month? Because I've married a rich fucking Because woman. what you're trying to say is that do you know what women I mean? usually get left with the kids. So the yeah, kids, yeah, that's the kids, cool. are, the kids are usually saying, gonna be the ones that they're fighting, exactly. fighting for. I want 300k for me and the kids. But if the mm. kids don't cost 300k mm. and mm -mm. you don't cost 300k, that's because of what I earn. But then we mm. gotta look at it like this. If if she was married to my man Zucca, was he Zucker from Facebook, what would mm. I, what would she be asking then? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, but, uh, yeah. 300k. Anyway, like three million anyway, a Anyway, she's month. mental. Anyway, she's mental. She deserves yeah, she, about. She, went she deserves about five quid a month. But <laughs> what else quid. is going on? Yeah. No, but that's good though. You're goody good. Yeah. Five quid yeah. a month. But, but do back we know? It, but maybe he's back all right with that. it. I don't know. No, I don't back know. Down to no that. one's happy. Um, what else is going on? Minus. I'm no one. Um, I don't know. But uh, but you know, what I noticed as well. Um, was Love Island. Ooh, I don't my, watch. I'm hot, hot Do on you it. watch it? Hot on it. I don't watch this I don't one watch it, you know. Too, when you're young and it. shit like that, you, the TV's a lot of stuff on the TV mm. you get familiar with. Don't yeah, yeah. I used to watch it. Like, it's, enterta it's entertaining. It is. But I used to, you know what I'm saying? It's my comedy. It's like putting yeah. in a stand up comedy and watching like a Dave Chappelle or whatever. Yeah. I am laughing and laughing and cussing and laughing and cussing. Because these people, <laughs> are not, they don't look like real people to yeah. me. They're not like, no disrespect to them. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're normal people, whatever. But the way that this whole thing set up, this Big Brother thing, whatever, it's not real to me. It's all funny. It's all mad. They, uh, uh, like, don't get me wrong, I fast forward when they talk their foolishness. Mm. I, mm. I just can't entertain some of the stuff they say. Do you think it's made for black girls? Do you think? One. Look, look, come on, you know it's not made for the, it's not made for our culture. Not, not, no, oh, sorry. Let me put it this way. It's changed. What is the new modern day black girl? Let's talk about it. I just feel that, well, I don't watch it, innit? And I've when you got, say I, black people, because I've, got, I, I've, 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 got, I've like, got a problem with it. The only, what okay. I've got a problem with is this. Um, earlier on, when you said that, when you looked on and you saw them lot in their favorites and you was like, oh, that looks like people like me. Mm. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. There's a word for it. I can't okay. remember what it's called, like representation or something yeah. or whatever, when you see stuff. Like there's people like sitting down, even like in prisons watching Love cool. Island and people that watch TV. You know? Right, right, right. And what you see, you kind of... You know, reciprocate, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And they're play, putting it out there that black girls ain't attractive and I don't like that. You think so? Yeah, I do. Well, because I really... I, it's been out for six seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's apparently four out girls? of the six seasons, the last person to be picked is somebody of colour. 
the black girls never get picked. No, but what, Do you understand? Is doing all right this I, time I just feel though. like the castings, well, maybe now because everybody no, was but just even talking the, about that it. Michael, the black, the, he, he, the last one, he, he was with a black, black girl. Black women. She's on the I'm black, 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 black women. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm saying he was with a black woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. black girl. They're both still together now. Two black people. That's nice. But you see what I was saying? I'm talking on a majority with what I find with these shows, though. I just feel like when they're casting, Mm. They know who to put her. They're oh, putting on. Just about they ask say. you what type do you like and whatever, whatever. I feel like there needs to be a bit more of a a, a wider majority. But watch this. We're now. living in in a multi cult. There's 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 but no. Then you're gonna say Tawi. We're gonna say about Made in Chelsea. We're gonna say about. That's what them programs are. Yeah, but that's you a ain't dating no one. Black Donnies in yeah. there. That's not oh, for us. It's not for mm. us. Can I it's just like say what? Can get, I just say something? Well, they, that's why I don't think they should go on it. Do you know what though? Well, can not, I just say that's something? That's that girl is not thinking like that. Mm. Can I just difference. say something though, Max? And then crying. Can I just say something? Picked. They're not getting picked because they're butters. No, Ever thought I, about no, that? Not all of them. No, but no, but <sighs> it's up to the guys to pick them. The guys are not finding them attractive, so they're not picking them. I, I feel like there needs to I be. Think what they, I think they, we, they need to pick personally, better girls. Okay, better know, girls I, need to. Nah, he's got you know what I'm saying? They're no, picking got, the wrong no, girls. What, what they're I'm picking butters girls. Wait, 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 no. He's got, I don't, they're I picking butters girls. No, I disagree. There's no I'm not beautiful black girls. I never said that there's no beautiful black girls out there than the ones that end up on Love Island. There's more beautiful black girls. There's more beautiful black girls out there than the ones that end up on Love Island. Fact. Like all in the comments, oh, ice cream. They want to love uh, ice cream, this, ice cream, that. You don't see ice cream on Love Island because ice cream ain't on that. So the proper gal them, black gal them, they're too stiff for that. They're not going to go to Love point, Island. Though. So you're going to get the little mad looking black girls that oh, want to go on there. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, that's, that's what? That is true. No, I, you got like, a point. I'm you, not saying there's bare. I know bare ill black girls. Black. Yeah. Ill black girls. Proper Christians. They're not on Love Island no, ever. No, no, no. That's like, not their cup of tea. I don't. The ones I see on there, they're. Buttons, what he's trying to say is that what he wants to see is the girls that the black girls that shut it down. Yes. The ones that they they're sending up on there. Unfortunately, like, put a Chris one up there and see she don't wait, get picked. What did you think of Fast. Amber? What did you think of the, the Amber? The last season one. The one or where do you the just Michael think guy. that those guys ain't into black girls? Yeah, she was. Mi- she was like she's brown skin girl, but she's still mixed race a little bit. So I say dual heritage, mm. politically correct. No, nah, but see mixed. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Pat- I'm not patting in them. Yeah. I'm not okay, patting in them. I'm talking about fair. black girls. We've been talking about I'm not like patting in mix. Nigerian I'm talking about or black Jamaican things, like, parents or they're Caribbean not, they're not parents putting or whatever. Ill black things. Like they, 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 you know what I'm saying? They're not putting ill black things in there. Like they put one and two little light brick things in there. That's all right. But I'm saying black girls. Do you get what I'm saying? So wait, 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 wait. You don't think the Priscilla girl from Love Island in the last yeah, season I think was good? I, lovely, I, was I think there's been nice black girls in I there. Was, so I am I getting mad? Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But I think Priscilla's mental, fam. Priscilla's cool. Priscilla's cool. Priscilla, Priscilla's mental. You I, think, I, think, I, think she, I think she's an attractive so, so black girl. I. I think Priscilla's she's an attractive mental. black girl. I yeah, different... She's mental. I think she's an attractive me. black girl. But I... The one that ended up with Michael? Yeah. Mental. You get what I'm saying? Both of them. Priscilla. Crazy. I saw a lovely girl on there the other day. She's she's nice she was like girl. saying, yeah. you know, like she she's don't mental. think and she was on there and you know, like they make, they make them feel funny when they're on the show. Like the guys don't like they don't like but them. you but like okay, well, anyone that signs up well, then for just a put all, Island, then just put white girls and black girls you. don't cast them mm. like if you're gonna sit home and watch a, a white show like, a mainly a 98 95% white show yeah 24-7 see all these seasons whatever and then you apply for that show mm. you know what the, the deal is you yeah. know you're gonna be the minority mm. you know they're not really used to <coughs> even all that you know what <coughs> the situation's gonna be like mm. you know that it's so so Understand what you're getting involved with, and if that feel, if you feel that you feel equal, just like everybody they, else they, on you, but the public watching us, watching it, our com- your community is not. I, I rate that. I'm like, go girl, you. I ain't break seen the a proper barriers. black girl on there yet. But I know what you're trying to say. But what do you call a proper black girl? Because I'm just. I, I had just this think, conversation just with the, just just a, a proper black girl, but, normal, but, just how we talk from no, our. It's, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen a proper. No, I, I, I just, more see the black girls I see on there. They're like acting white and all that. Do you have babe? No, babe and all that. Shut up, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't no, make I me disagree. Wet myself. Oh mm. my gosh. Shut up, man. <laughs> you're a baby and all that. <laughs> and they're on there, you see them, they're doing all their lashes and no, no, all the you know makeup and all that. I used yeah, to think like me. Think, no, spray. Of course, you used to think like me. We used to roll, fam. Of course, you used to think like me before you got bougie and wanted to turn commercial. And no, wearing, no, <laughs> you no, know what I'm saying? No, like, no. Of course, you used to think no, like me. I'm talking about, as I used, I see it as this now. The new modern day black girl is not what you think mm. it is 
because not that they it doesn't mean just because yeah, yeah it's true doesn't mean because they like they're still black you can't take black off no skin bro it don't rub off you're black you're black mm. yeah don't matter what you say can't no matter what you thought like you can't, no matter how dress, <laughs> you can't scrub it off bro you walk into any go okay she can be the queen's english room but she could be the royal family go and talk to the kkk and see if what they're gonna say to you mm. yeah well you know we're gonna pass her because she walks like us and she walks like us. No, you're going to get burnt and hung just like the rest of you. Yeah? So I used to feel that way. But I realise now what I'm starting to see now, the, what is the modern day black girl? The modern day black girl is just like any other girl in this country. Educated black woman doesn't need necessarily mean that she's coconutted off or she doesn't know her roots. An educated mm. black woman or, 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 or a girl that is, I understand that. When I'm thinking, oh, mm. you're too British for me, man. It means because what? Because you're you're talking like because you're from like, because you're from Essex mm. or you're from wherever. So now I'm like because I used to cuss me like nah man she don't know her thing or look at her man look at but I get it now I get it that the new generation okay. or whatever it is they're sorry they're they're actually growing into this world of this is the normality you mm. know what I mean Stacy and Ebony is more or less on the same page you know what I mean mm. they went to school together they she don't see herself no different mm, and Adiola. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and they, don't see, they don't see them as so no different. Yeah. But, what, but what, what we see is this. Mm. And we know that no one can't escape this. So mm. we know that this is, we're seeing this and we're thinking, oh, man, do you know where you're coming from? Mm. Like, but you don't, that don't mean nothing no more. It don't mean that because we don't, she has to talk a certain way off mm-hmm. the road mm. or wear a certain thing. Yeah, that's nah, how man. I used it. That's how I, that's how I view it now. I, I used to I, be like, how I look at it is like ice cream like a proper black girl. She talks like, oh, she knows, like, I don't know. But what, I don't that's know. what I used to but think, then, what is us? No, but what is co- us these days? Yeah. What is us? Because I used us? to think to myself, No, but I'm saying us? our generation, innit? Like, yeah, our generations young, are different. Saying? We're gifted differently. We're from the 90s, yeah. bro. Like, you, yeah. you, can't, you can't repeat them yeah. in the scene. We're talking about social media. We're talking about yeah. technology. We're talking no, about... No, but even... That's what I'm saying. Even the black girls now, nah, they're going mad. They're doing their lips and all that. Like, and all that. Whoa. Like, that is why is black girls doing lips yeah that stuff mm. but it's not even why they're doing it it's a follow fashion thing isn't it mm. it's, it's become an industry of of like i need if a black girl has got a lack of her lips or a lack of a bum then she's gonna force it but every culture is doing it latinos are doing it white girls are doing it mm. black girls are doing it it's become a be- the beauty industry is the trend now like let's just go and get lips done let's go and get our chest done enhancements mm. now there's more doctors there's more but you see like you lot that you lot know this because you lot yeah. you know you know this yeah the young girls that are watching that show and don't do that, that put and see you those girls stupid. getting rejected Sorry. or coming last a lot. <laughs> don't you think that it kind of it, it's gonna put something in their head though? Do you know no. what it is? No, go on, go you don't on, think so? Can I say something? Yeah, can I say something? Can I say feel... something? Because uh, guys, mm. not once, yeah, we yeah. said they didn't like natural. Mm. You lot did. You mm. lot started doing all that. Not once. Did we ever start complaining or we don't like that? We've always, man, been on girl. Not once have we said, oh, I don't like that natural girl. True. Or I don't like her tits. Or we, men, didn't invent this. We've never complained. Uh, We're good with I the conks. I think I know what went wrong. Like The TV. The TV, you know everybody's mean? home, when they started promoting M- the, the videos, the music videos, the girls that they used to be straight hair, you know what I mean? But back in the day videos, if you look at the 90s videos, our era, Aaliyah mm. and all that, they used to be wearing like the jeans and the, the baggy the t-shirts and whatever. Mm. And then that, I think that changed where it become like lighter skinned and straighter hair and big bum and big fat. And then I think where that industry, where kept on emulating, maybe the man them just like dropping the natural girls for those big bows, some of the bozos. And then, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but he's right. I mm. feel that you're, what you're saying is right. I don't think it was the mandem. I think that we never complain. I think the beauty industry started getting on top of itself because the makeup, mm. the lipstick, it just started growing more and more. More things to sell. More things to add to your shopping basket, like of beauty, hair, nails, eyebrows, lips. Oh shit! Do your bum. Do mm. your chest. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's just gone out of proportion. Now it's just like anything can get done. Furthermore, you know what? Bleach your skin. Ragged. Mm. Like it's gone all mad out here. It's mental. Yeah, so now who do we we don't even listen, but you know what? You know what you have to laugh about? You remember that film, I'm gonna get you sucker? Yeah, come on, man. Remember when you met the girl? Yeah, and she Mm. took everything. She took everything off. That's what it was. Mental. Mental. Yeah. The head went. My hair's not really mine. Yeah, not really mine. (laughs) The arse went. The chest went. (laughs) Everything. Bro, she had no legs. (laughs) One leg. (laughs) 
yeah, listen. That's so what I'm if you think about it, that's been going on for a long mm. time right mm. now. When you really check mm. it though, but yeah, mm. yeah, nah, um. It's interesting though. It's funny the real stuff that you're touching on here. Yeah, real, no, man. real, real stuff that you're touching on here because that, that's that, what it is. I think they know what they're doing, man. I just like getting back to the point. That's they know what they're doing. They're picking butters, black things, cause they must be better. But anyway. But what do you think of? Mm. Okay, so do you think the girl that's in there now, the clue? But don't girl, ask me no, not nothing. No, I'm not I'm, sure I'm, about I'm everyone, be, but I've seen some. I, 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 just another lighty to me, but hey, mm. like I mean, I don't. When but I when I say I think she's nice, I, I don't think she's horrible. No, I don't think. Yeah, I, do I think like she sounds like Mandem though. I think she sounds like the road. I thought she was a sound. Like, I can tell which, she's from Sutton. No, I'm, 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 like, no, I'm, I'm thinking of the ro- a different person. I'm Carissa, talking about the, the one that she she had. The, the one that's on. T- t- what's his name? Tyler. The one, the new one that he's got with now. You just said you don't watch it, so you. No, but no, no, no. Because I watched when they put up the girl, and she was talking about not being picked. And she was nice. I could have swore her name was Clarissa. No, nah, Kaz is the black girl that's in there. The, yeah. the, the black girl that's in there is Kaz. The girl's name is does she look there. like a top tier black girl, or does is. she? Is she a top tier? Is she a top? Is she a? What's a top tier black girl? It, what, I mean, everybody has their own own um, you know opinions of what beauty is like. But if, in, in our type, or I can speak for you, I say in our type, mm. is she like one of the man with the man or our world? Or not our world? I can't speak for everyone in our world. But it, this, it, I just don't think she is is what I. She's all right. Fuck it. That's just my opinion. I think she's all right. No disrespect to the mm. girl. But no, I think there are much beautiful black girls in the her. On, definitely. Man. One million percent. And I think if they were on Love Island, but then yet again, you could have the Chris's girl on, 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 on. Hold on a minute. There is a pretty black girl on there. She ain't getting no airtime. Mm. And what's her name? Selma. Selma. She from, where's she from? I don't know where she's from, but she's a black girl on there. <coughs> she, they're not even giving her no, no, no airtime. Yeah, bro. Salma, her name is. I think, she's, I think a, she's nice. She's a pretty black girl. Yeah, she is. But she's not giving her no gum. That's her. Yeah, what do you think of her? That's Selma. Not, I can't see properly. I can't, she's not horrible. Really look. I can't see properly. Pass it, pass it, pass it. I can't. She's not bad. There's, I'm trying to find the girl that I thought was Clarissa. There's a girl that was on there that's talking. Selma. Yeah, that's no. not my type. That's not my no, cup of tea. No, but she wouldn't say that she's horrible, though, would that's you? That's not my cup of tea. Yeah, I don't, she's just I don't not your know. Taste. It could be a catfish, innit? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. But she might look better in real life. But boom, hmm. the last current affair, yeah, is going to go into the um, main subject. Yeah, okay, cool. Which is like, you see, like how Z51 state. Oh, yeah, Cream, how was original? Wait, car? listen. There are people <laughs> telling me, yeah, they see my, my co host in originals. And okay, okay. Rare, okay. Rare, rare. But yeah, no. I had a good time. I'm not going to lie. I think that was one of my best. Festivals. Well, yeah. Well, like, mm. how many have I gone to? But yeah, but that's two, that's like the was... new school thing of the. Remember, in our time, it was more like Brockwell Park, and yeah, I think that's like, that's like the new all days. You get what I'm saying? Daytime mm. raves and all that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Cause I remember Brockwell, yeah, Clissel Brockwell Park. Burgess, all that. Yeah. No yeah. Way yeah. Way down, it was good. But yeah, good. boom. 51st day, I swear they're saying you have to do a test yeah. or something. Yeah. If you ain't got the vaccine, yeah. mm-hmm. I saw it. you can't get in. But the main subject of the vaccine... Oh, you know, you've got to take water, the test and, down, and the send I, it to them, innit? What, 48 hours or something. Like, That's just when I'm, I put my... I'm not on it. I'm telling you, That's when I'm not on it. It's 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 I've got, loads, I've got loads of shows this month, yeah? Mm. Coming up in August. Lots of festivals of performing that. And I'm thinking... Wow, the government have done this. They, mm. they think they're slip. Mm-hmm. So they're going to let us run loose in August mm-hmm. and then they're going to try and indu- like, introduce the thing in September. Mm-hmm. But you don't know full well that if everybody's running loose in August, what are you going to get in September? Mm. And then you're going to say, okay, if you don't want to go out raving, yeah. hear what? Take the thing. Vaxy. Take the vax. Because you know mm. what? No vax, no clubbing. No clubbing. No, clubbing, no flying. Mm. No, no flying, flying, no jobbing. That's the next. That's how they're going to mm. get it. Everybody's getting running up for this jab. And they're like, all right, cool. My sister in hospital because of the jab. Her it's blood thicker than... It's not no joke. It's a roulette machine, yeah? yeah? I'll tell everybody now that that vaccine is a roulette machine. It, it might work for you, yeah. but it might not work for your neighbour. Exactly. And I'm telling people that the more these people have so smart, yeah. they understand you take this vaccination now... But what's happening in 10 years from now, B? That's what I said. Mm. Nobody don't mm. know mm. what they're putting, putting in their in body. Mm. Man said chimpanzee. One man says chimpanzee DNA. The next man says horse, whatever. Thank you. Like, 
They no don't know. Denzel, listen. Bring me in the lab, it's... show me what you're working with, then we might have to talk. Exactly. But until then, I'm not intelligent enough to know about all these exactly. chemicals in the mixer. And you know that the average people are dumbed down, so mm. they're not going to know about this. So I know that I'm so focused on this thing. Like, they're messing with my paper, they're messing with man's life, and our kids are, are the future, bro. And I'm scared yeah. for these people. Because they're talking about because the, the main, passports your main and all release, of this. Jump on the plane. Mm or go to a little show, mm. is now going to get locked down. Mm. And if they lock the workplace in this, because I'm worried about if they're going to make the teachers, the mentors, and all us mm. like people that are doing positive stuff, if we do this, it's a, if we get the job, it's a wrap. Yeah. I'm, re- I'm really upset about it. Yeah. I'm really upset about it. Yeah, but they're it's messing mad up because everyone's money. It's mad because they, they say it's your choice, yeah? It's not. But they're literally... Forcing you, you to do, do it. Stick, you get what I'm trying to we say? We know because what it is. When, 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 it's like you got to look at it on a street level. Like, man, I'm saying, like, boom. Yeah, bro. Like, let me buy a watch, man. Let me just wear your watch for the day, man. Your watch is gone, bro. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. man's robbed you, but he's done it in a bridging mm. one. Like, mm. yeah, it's gonna buy you. Just, just, just wear this, man. And, and that's it. You've mm. been robbed, but mm. it's but it's done it. So what he's trying to, what Boris is trying to do is like, nah, you don't have to take the vax, but you're gonna take the vax. Mm-hmm. You know one of them ones that we're gonna, you know, it's not compulsory. But mm. you can't but fly. Look, mm. But you can't. But you can't go clubbing. I'm telling you, September's a mad thing. But mm. look how much people have taken the vaccine and they still got COVID <sighs> and they still get COVID. You knew. Do you you get knew what, what time it was. Any vaccinator who told you has got COVID right now, and you're looking at the people that are not vaccinated. You have to really check yourself. What was the poor whole point mm. again? Because what they're working with, they're working with, they're Can working we- with the less. Less chance of getting COVID. You're less, but every everything's on a less thing now. It's just pointless. Like, and mm. this is something that if you get it, my more time man survive it anyway. Bro, I got. Who did you get? I, I could say I got COVID um, when it first come out. Mm. I was sick. Everyone else was getting sick. My immune system dashed that way. Yeah. And we carried on. I haven't had nothing since. You know, mm. what I mean, touch wood or whatever. And my nan got sick. You know what I'm saying? Come out of it. She's like. 80 plus yeah. yeah Jamaican immune system exactly some Walla. lemon ginger Gone again. boiler yeah, up, honey my um, mum people around me have been rich. sick I'm not saying that we're invincible yeah you can still but catch like, a cold but, then, but then also I know there's something dodgy out there yeah there is I don't know what it is yeah. I don't know if it's COVID-19 or some enhanced flu business but I be- yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying that COVID don't exist I'm just saying that there's some dodgy stuff out there because there are people yeah. that are dying you know what I mean? Mm. And, and there's under health line issues or whatever, these things, bangerangs, not mixing. It's yeah. a roulette mm. machine out here. Are you Someone... taking it, Cream? I know. Are you? Boy, I don't think it's going to happen for me, you know? But if you know what it is, yeah? <coughs> I, I don't just know. Take it. I just know with me, because I like to travel and all that, I could just see that due to. I'm going to end up taking it because it's not even like, not like that, yeah? But. Can we just me, pups and then he got to take the test? Yeah, yeah, that. no, but you know what it is? You with me, yeah? Like, this life is just this life, innit? So it's like I'm not I'm not gonna just not live my life and now I'm boxed in and I can't do nothing because mm. I'm just gonna be not taking the COVID test because rare, rare, rare. Do you rare. know what it is though? I'd rather just dead then. If I've just gotta be a madman in my yard you and I can't do nothing, mm. I can't move left, I can't go to that rave, I can't <laughs> fly Madsen, there, Madsen. I can't go nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's how they're gonna make it. I can't go there, no, I can't go. Why yeah. didn't they call, no, call but my the number? Thing about it is, call is, my yeah. number. Yeah. Let me go see but, my people. But, how do you, you know saying? that in a few years' time everybody's not going to be looking like zombies? You see, like the movies where we watch and everybody yeah, yeah. starts turning into. No, things. but that's what I'm trying to and say. And it looks so far fetched. But you're going to be. Now we're starting to get mm. closer and closer to see how these things are created because of how these man made diseases, what they're putting out into the world, yeah? Listen, every product that goes on the shelf or goes into a shop, there is a number of testing that it has to go through before. Do you understand? Any form of medication, it goes through years and years of testing yeah. to see side effects mm. and stuff like that. They test them on people to see what's going to happen to them. Do you understand? Etc. When this COVID thing came out, you had the entire world up in in an in a uproar. They yeah. don't know what this is. They don't know how to treat it. In the beginning, we had foam all over the streets with them scrubbing the floors. So that means they didn't know how to deal with this thing. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. Right. So they've obviously put a bunch of pressure on some scientists in a lab to come out with some form of vaccine. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. These scientists in this lab that have come out with this vaccine, yeah, 
How long have they put it in under testing? It, say, has, they, it hasn't been tested. Do you know what? I, honestly, so we don't know if in a year people are going to start dropping down or whatever. I'm not prepared to take anything like that for nah, now. This was this was this was all in the plan, Mm-mm. man. This is yeah, this is it's, the plan. It, it's too. It's not it's so yeah, precise. It's so, like, yeah. the way that they've done it. Because I tell you what, I wrote like everyone was like, oh, lockdown. I was bored. I started writing COVID songs and rare tear tear. So obviously, you know, the fight. Everyone's like, oh, five G is this is killing mm. the people, and then everyone's all there. Can Conspiracies started coming out, but mm. but one of the conspiracies that we're saying, they were saying that we're talking about vaccination when people are getting sick. Oh, it's a conspiracy worldwide. COVID, there's going to be vaccinations. You're going to get the needle. This was prior before mm-hmm. they even made this mm-hmm. massive vac- mm-hmm. vaccination. Before it was even made in the lab, mm-hmm. they were talking about people were talking about getting jabbed and they're going to do this and lockdowns and all of this. What happened? Mm. Lockdowns happen. Jobs are happening, but you know the, the next thing. The next world, thing, everything to me is, is going to be the chip. By class. The next Rich thing is going to be the chip. Different said, things to who us. Who said the vax and the chip? Who exactly. said? No, 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 no. Yeah, I know, but you know what it is, yeah. Why I'm saying the next thing is going to be the chip is because obviously you're going to get them for one. You're going to get them people where you probably got it already. You can pay for it in it to get put in the system and rare. So they're, they're going to. So there's going to be a couple man that can go around that in it. So they're going to make sure there's no one that can go around this. That's why I think it's going to end up being a chip. In the, mm. in the long run, God, the, vac- the vaccination passports. Could England's, be the chip. England's one place here, yeah, but you see, like Africa and certain places, I've even checked a certain man. They're making me know that's standard. Man can just get that. You know what I'm saying? You can mm. get a card. You can. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So they're going to they're gonna let people break the rules and then lock you down it's with it. with one. Not just bit by bit. You know what I mean? So it's this gonna, is what's, this is the enemy right now. The, the, the enemy is the needle. I just think the, the enemy is the needle right now. It's it's all it's just all programming. Do you understand? And on all these things, they're making all the roads, everybody going in one direction and everything. The high it's, road. If they, if they do every, if they let us know what they're going to do, everybody's going to go in panic. Do you understand? You go little by mm-hmm. little until you're already in. Do you understand yeah, what I mean? 100%, 100%. The, the, the steps that they're taking, and I know it's like the little things that they're doing, you can see that it's all about control. To 100%. Me. Do you understand? So like... All the roads are getting narrower. They're blocking off all of these little roads. Everybody's got to go in one way. All mm-hmm. of this facial recognition. They want everybody mm-hmm. to have this injection. Soon they're going to put life expect. They're going to be able to control your life expectancy or everything. Do you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just think that it's too much. So um, I'm totally, totally, totally against all of this stuff. One you know million I mean? yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm it's, it's, it's made, I'm it's made me same. even question like having more kids. Wow. You, you know what I mean, like wow. no, just the way no, in which the I, I world the is, same. like I feel the same. The schooling I feel the same system, everything. Do you I'm understand? In, like, like I work in the school listen. system, yeah, and I'm telling you, one youth, uh, about five youths have got mask on, and the other five youths ain't got no mask on. The windows open, it's Billy. The, the you know, the kids have got. The, it's all mad. It's just they social distancing. They stay in their bubbles. Remember, like we could be mingle with our thirties, mm. we could mingle with the fiftieths. Yeah, none of that are gone. Mm. Every year stays in their bubble. Mm. It's all mad. It's just it's like just it yeah, like, so, like how much things are they going to want our kids to take and stuff like that in the next three years? What else are they going to come out? I'm with? telling you, the world is not going back. The Do same. you understand what I mean? It's not going it's just back the same. Yeah, but it's just it, to me, it's just either take it or don't take it. And it's up to but you. It's the green pill or the red pill. It's, but it's like it's my it's, it's my really older sister. I had an argument, not even an argument, but <laughs> a madness. We both, not 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 Vicky. I'm, I need my a next tissue. sister. Yeah, yeah. but boom now she was like, oh yeah, have you taken have you taken the um have you taken the vaccine? Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. And she's like, oh, are you going to take it? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, well, yeah. if I have to, if I'm flying, like, if I'm flying out or rare, rare, rare. So I was like, do you get what I'm trying to say? She's like, oh, I, I advise against it. I was, I was saying the same thing I was saying now. Like, yeah. I'm not just going to be in my yard and not be able to move mm-hmm. if it's something that I've got to do, innit? Not like that, but if it cuts, like, I'll just, I'm just one of them people, innit? Like, do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm one of them people, blood. Like, I'd rather just be able to move how I want to move. And then so if I drop out, it. I drop out. Huh? So you reckon you're going to take it? If I have to. Obviously, I'm going to hold out for the 419, man. Wow. Do you get what I'm That's saying? That's interesting. I'm going to hold out for the 419, man. If I could get myself on the, on the system. system or whatever, I'm going to hold out for, for that guy. <laughs> but I'm saying, if it... If it get comes to a down point to it, you don't wanna, you're I, not going to live like... A, I don't care, but like, see raving and all that. See raving yeah. and all that. Yeah. I'm kind of over it. Yeah, I'm over too. that. You get yeah. me? I'd rather rave when I go on holiday anyway. So yeah. I'm over it. So if that's the case, it's like when I heard that was 51st day, I knew I'm not going 51st day. Oh, hell. No. Do you know what I'm saying? And it didn't bother me. Yeah. I've been there every year. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm bad, man. Like, and I'm. So that didn't bother me. 
It's so going to start like, affecting people's jobs, though. Like certain okay, jobs, jobs parts, mm. and certain yeah, jobs the, that you but the have to make it mandatory that you have to be mm. vaccinated in order to do this job. And do you understand what it's I mean? It's the flying like, thing for me. It's the flying thing for yeah. me. Yeah, really that, I, 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 I don't know the care. I'm like you. I'm yeah. the flying thing like for Bobo. I like to. That's what was me tempting them. Even, but I'm like, you know what? I, I don't care. To I'll, go I think... to, I'll go to Cardiff Beach. I'll go yeah. to Bournemouth Beach. I'll go to flipping. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's uh, easy for you to say that. It's like when I'm chatting to Ibs. He, it's easy for him to say that because he's back home. He's in Gambia. Okay. I've got, I've got a whole next. My yard's in Dominica. Oh, I've okay. got family. I, I, I need to be able to yeah. move. You get what I'm but saying? You see, like how, the, how they're move. doing the roads and everything. Yeah. Mm. Like, do you think like they're trying to like enclose everybody in and like put to- like soon like <coughs> put tolls up? So, you know, like you might have to go and show if you're vaccinated to even get into another area. You know, like things like mm. that. They like it's like they're trying to Let me get lock everybody phone, in and just get you forcing you little by little. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's just going to be more and more stuff that they're going to be putting in. Now you've got to do this. Now you've got to do it until when you look, we're just prisoners. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Even with the vaccine, because wow, you're not going to be, you're not going to be free with the vaccine. You know, I know this. Oh. I'm like, let them run into the so needle. That's, they're, they're go and run into yeah, the needle. It's going to be and something go have exactly. Your time. You run into the needle and you still get COVID. Ex- now what are you going to yeah. tell me? So you run. So now you want to live your life, and then when they, I'm telling you, what's when the needle start? Like, okay, someone says to me that they can't sleep. They got the jab. They can't sleep. I said, why is that? Oh, my arm's spazzing out. Mm. What do you mean your arm's spazzing out? Whenever I ever got a jab and my arm starts spazzing out, mm. it's just no, nah, because you know what? I'm telling you. It's that, a roulette. It's a roulette machine. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's a, a roulette. big roulette. It's like man's is just like, grrr. like you could just. That I know day, people. That, I know people that's had it. Then all of a sudden fun. they got a rash. I yeah, got people that had it, and then do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's just, we're lab rats. Let's be honest. We're lab rats. Let's be honest. The, that that vaccination thing is a lab rat test. They they don't hundred percent know if it's if it's definitely the it's gonna work for everybody. You get me? They mm. know. They just want the majority. But they they tell you that. It's, it's, it's they actually poor people as well. Oh, We're definitely the, like, the experimental guinea pigs. They are looking for they? brown people. The reason Trust why me. because a lot of people in the poor areas, brown and black people, they don't want to get this needle thing. So they they they're trying to say like, yo, that's where the COVID's really hitting. So let's mm. let's attack that area. But you know what it is control. Mm. A lot of it is control. It is, but. I don't, you know, I don't believe. Well, I don't advise. I don't advise you take it. I don't advise you don't take it. It's just up to you. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? That's yeah. my it is, whole. It is everyone down Do to you themselves. Say, but, but my personal opinion, I will try I and avoid it. it as I'm long more as I on can. the I'm, I'm more on the against. Mm. I'll, I'll yeah, try. I'm like my side. grandparents, like obviously they most probably think, yeah, take it. Like they don't watch internet and mm. stuff like that. They watch their TV. So. Oh, is that so? Yeah, my, my grand, so like, my grandma and granddad, they're gonna get their information from the news. You know, like. You know what I'm saying? Stuff. Mm. Like I was talking to like, when I, when we was in the lockdown, we had to drop off the stuff to my grandparents. They spoke to us at the door mm-hmm. and never let us in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, they was my... they was believing everything on the news. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. But obviously, see, because not everybody is like that. I hear you, man. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, no, it's, it's up. It's your choice, it man. Your but choice. I just advise against it. Yeah. But yeah, man, man's got this dilemma though. This episode. You get me. Mm. Last of these, uh, have you watched the last episode? Buskin, Buskin, Buskin got, got emotional with the dilemma. Still, you get me. <laughs> did, did you get? It? Yeah, he, he said no thyself, <laughs> but yeah, but no come thyself. like, come like anyway. Okay. So let me see let me what see. Max is saying. I don't even think Cream knows this dilemma. Anyway, so see what she's Anyway, Day RTM podcast show. I broke up with my boyfriend of five years six months ago. Uh huh. Because I was tired of his cheating ways. <laughs> I forgave him and he was good for the last year, but I just couldn't get over the past. Yeah. So I decided to end it. We've got a two year old daughter and he is an extremely good dad. He gives me money every month to go towards her welfare. Okay. More than enough, to be honest. We still have sex every now and again <laughs> when I feel horny, as I don't want to see anyone else at the moment. But there's this fit guy at work and we always kind of flirt with each other. <laughs> It got too much around five months ago and I ended up having sex with him (laughs) as I just couldn't resist his advances. Mm -hmm. I regretted it straight away and ever since as it's out of my character and it's never happened again. We no longer flirt and decided to keep it a lifelong secret as he is married. Mm -hmm. My problem is I've recently found out that I'm pregnant. And I don't know if it's my baby father's or this guy at work's child. (laughs) 
yeah. I don't believe listen listen cream I don't believe in abortion but I'm just so embarrassed I want to keep the baby but I can't but I just can't bring myself to tell my baby father the truth oh as God. he's a complete nutcase <laughs> oh God. what should now we should even love what should no. I do please help right no that's that's that's, 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 that's serious it's not sticky the, yes it's it not. is look I'm going to break this no. down go on you know what you're doing when you're laying down and yeah. you open mm. your legs, right? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't use a condom, mm-hmm. so that was going to be on you. Mm-hmm. Two, you're still fasting with the baby father that you broke up with. That's so stupid. Yeah. yeah? If mm. you, what is it? Is it you want him or you don't want him? So mm. that was on you again. So you've done that to yourself. Yeah. Because you could have just broke up with him and let him be, but you're still do, dwindling about trying to get a bit of what you want from him. So, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So now you're in a situation where you're pregnant. You don't believe in abortion. I respect that. Have your child. Your baby father's a nutcase. Cool. If there's any violence involved, <laughs> nah, 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 just be white outside. <laughs> <laughs> just keep it one hundred. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And live your life. Mm. Yeah. What's we? What, what, no, but do you know what? Yeah, do you know what I was gonna say as well because oh. she hasn't even done anything wrong as well though. How, why? Because she's broken up. She said they've oh, broken oh, oh. up. So no, I'm saying yeah, in a the, sense of yeah, no, she no, but she, no, she needs to tell yeah, the truth. Yeah, it's she like, needs to tell the truth. Yeah. That you get what I'm saying? That's what I would say. You ain't really done nothing wrong if you've broken up. If you've broken up, if you've broken up with them, you've broken up with them, innit? No, the she hasn't done nothing That's wrong, true. but the drama the that truth. she's... The, her own political thing, the dilemma is, mm. it's her dilemma. She's yeah. the only one that created mm. that dilemma. Yeah. Mm. So now you have to be a big woman yeah. and just stand up mm-hmm. and say, right, I'm pregnant, mm-hmm. go and get a DNA test, find out who the father is, mm. keep it 100 to the father. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's the new guy, not the new guy or whatever, he's married... Well, hold on. That's yeah. another thing. We she didn't has speak done about that part, did we? The, oh, yeah. yeah. The, guy's the, guy's married. Married. the man's married. The guy's married. Well, I'm dead. So the man's he's married. definitely oh, going to want that dash way. He's definitely going to want that dash way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's whoa, definitely going to want that dash way, for real. Yeah. He's like. Married. But that's his. That's on him. Where no, but he, no, it's on him. You've got to tell him, though. Yeah, no, it is. If it's his, if it's the married guys, yeah. Dramas. For him though, that's your business. Because we as married men, we know what we're doing. If mm. we're gonna step, if you're gonna step out on your wife, understand what time it is. Yeah. Like, it can all go left at any given time. There's nothing say say for sacred. Everything so, what you said there, she sounds confused. She's and lost. They, and an uh, un, an uh, indecisive yeah. man is an unstable man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. She needs to yeah. know what she wants and go for that. She doesn't sound to me like she's a person who that knows what she wants right no, now. Anyway, she like she's wants, con- mm. do you understand she what I'm saying? She tried to go for yeah. the baby for you're with him. You're keep, not with him. You're but still with you, him. He's then a great yeah. dad, so I'm gonna give you some. Yeah. I'm gonna give you some nani because you're a great dad. You pay me some money so you can have a little bit of nani for the doll. Yeah. Mm. You know, like it's all that. Yeah, I, you know, and he's obviously gonna look. Like, you know, his baby mother he ain't gonna make sure that one's around his you. He's gonna want to <laughs> throw it in there, here and there to keep it all guarded off. Because mm. men, we think like. The, our will is the mo- remote control. You know what I'm saying? That like once we once we're sleeping with her, we've got the remote control. So he's thinking, oh, if I'm back there. But then she's just on the next page. She's like, yo, the guy at work's kind of fit, you know. He's married, so it's not really. He, mm. She don't have him, mm-hmm. but she likes the idea of him, innit? Mm-hmm. So the idea of him now is what's got her herself in the foolishness, because she's got too much flirt until you land in the bedroom. Yeah. Like you just slipped her. Oh, you just mm. you didn't slip on the in the door lead. You just land. You know what I'm saying? So mm. now you got you're pregnant. Whose is it? The big, the big that question mark. That is a dilemma. Mad. Yeah. Mad. Yep. Mad. So, but, but you know, she's lucky that she ain't in a relationship. Yeah, mm. that that's would where they would have That's who. Right now, the dilemma is for the, for the, for the, for the married, married guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one who needs he, to be writing yeah. into the show. He the can't married believe, guy needs to be writing. Like, he yo. can't believe what's going on. No, so, but he don't know yet. Oof. It's drama. Nah, when you talk, like, that's but, a dilemma. I don't know. You can't make these things up, bro. But you know what I realise? That's what I'm saying. Like, understand as her as a woman she shouldn't understand if when she's laying down and i want all women to understand this whenever you are laying down with a guy like don't take sex lightly understand like unless if you want to have fun that's fine just strap up let the guy strap up make sure you're on the pill so you're understanding that you're not bringing another energy energy and another person into this world and another whole and like the whole scenario of that yeah. is just too much unless you know that person is for you. So you can have your fun. I'm not saying no people don't go and have their fun, but understand what you're doing. And a lot of women, they get caught up in the moment. You know what I'm saying? And like guys get caught up in the moment. Nine times out of ten, I'll mm. be honest with you, not every guy, mm. but majority of the guys, when they're kissing and they're getting heated up, if it ain't all mapped out, if it's the first time he's getting in the notion, yeah. he ain't going, he, yeah. he's nine times a ten, I don't think he's going to have a dom, dom on him. Mm. 
Because he didn't plan it. Mm. It wasn't a planned little beat. Mm. It was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to let go. Mm. Mm. Like, my pull-out game's weak, isn't it? Like, no. Mm. Don't rely on the man, is what I'm trying to tell women. Yeah. Don't rely on the man. Suit yourself, yourself. out. Because yeah. nine times out of ten, men are just running and running and they just do their thing. And we've all been, you know, we've all been caught up in certain scenarios. So I understand it from a man's perspective and mm. I understand it from a woman's perspective. Mm. For me, I just think the young girls, not that, that dilemma there, Mm-hmm. Is that what I'm saying? It's very serious and very. Have to understand that this laying down sexual thing is more to it than that. Because if I could go back in time with some little mistakes I've made, yeah, I'm ashamed to say I slept with certain girls. Yeah. Mm. Like, and men don't really say that. I'm ashamed. ashamed. Yeah, huh? ashamed. I'm ashamed because I'm ashamed. Yeah, and we can step, we can, yeah. we can put our hands on the table. They always say, I, like, I'm I've ashamed. definitely mm. got some yeah. that I'm taking to the mm. grave. If a girl said to me, Yo, I slept with my man, I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not on that. You're not me. I'm mm. denying that. No, not me. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, no, not me. No, not me, bro. No, 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 it was my bedroom. My bedroom went mm. there, it went me. But I'm not, it's not, it's just a case of like, we were predators as, I'm not saying this is young, we're mm-hmm. talking young, we're talking mm-hmm. grown men, we're talking like young people, you know what I mean? But grown men do shit as well. I'm not saying they don't. But I'm just saying, as men understand that we are hunters, we are predators, and, and, and a lot of the time they're drilling in. There's no thinking. Mm. It gets transferred mm. from one brain to the other. Mm. And there's, we ain't got, that one don't have much brain power to, to mm. control himself. So it's, we're going to dive in. And then when you dive in and you let go, is that's it. Once <laughs> you let go, is, no, you can't, that's it. It's all in a woman. Yeah. It's, it's we pass the baton to her. Like, there you go. There you go. <laughs> it's the relay race. Mm. Now it's up to her whether she wants to continue Dude, running yeah. the race mm. or just quit. Mm. You know what I'm mm. saying? And nine times out of ten, you know, some in them scenarios, you're hoping the woman's gonna quit the race, mm. <laughs> but she she's gonna go all the way to the finishing line, mm. and that's gonna fu- that's gonna mess up his whole whole thing. So yeah, women just Possible. women and men, yeah, women understand and men. what you're doing out here when it comes to these things. Very important, you know what I mean. But yeah, man. Yeah, no, nah, that's a mad one. That is a mad one. Get me. What's, so you, what, nah, we, so what are we saying? No, nah, because I said, what, well, what, if she what, says what, she, what, she wants the baby in it, yeah? Have the baby. So I'm saying, all right, cool, yeah, you want the baby. baby. You haven't baby done nothing wrong. You're, bro- you're broken up, whatever, boom. Yeah. Have the you get a DNA. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, obviously, you're going to have to just come clean and say that. <laughs> yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? You, you don't have to You don't. You don't have to tell him that it's someone at work. You don't have to tell him it's someone at work. You can just say it's anyone. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You can just say it's anyone one yeah. night's time, whatever, a bomb. Jeez. And then just sort it out. You get what I'm saying? Well, yeah. she can be honest. I don't think it's that you big. She's done yeah. good. Not a, in a relationship. That's the main thing. Yeah. She ain't hurting nobody like that. Do you know what I mean? But he's a nutcase though, so you might get one or two that's black eyes. That's what I'm saying. But then, get me? that's why I say like, you shouldn't, she shouldn't have to be like subjected to mm. any violence. Mm. It no, is what it is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. If he, you know what I mean? But like you said, 999, innit? Yes, just be <laughs> Sally. You get just do what Sally does. Yeah. No one don't say Sally's a be... snitch or whatever. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Sally's just normal in yeah. the community. She can ring 999 mm. and everyone's like, yeah, yeah Sally, Sally, well done. Yeah. Mm. But in me. our community, mm-hmm. we don't want no Sally. So it's like, the, the girl them are just like, oh, and it, no, mm. no, 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 be Sally. What are you saying, Cream? Yeah, be Sally, innit? Be Sally if it's that. No, not be. What are you telling her? What What am I saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think she's gonna have to come clean. Mm. I think she's gonna have to because you see that kind of thing there later on. It's just gonna get even worse and worse. It's not gonna get easier. It's Mm. gonna get harder, innit? Mm. So she needs to know because if she don't like with the baby father, the jacket thing that I'm worried about. And yeah, because she's gonna get pregnant. Her belly's gonna show. He's been sleeping with her. What if he starts thinking? Oh, we're having another baby. She needs to come clean. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you get me? Mm. So, baby girl, come clean and let us know how it goes. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. I want to know how that one Isn't works it? Out. No, I do want, I want to know. Yeah, when. Let's, let's definitely shout us and let us know. Every yeah, episode, please. man, give them a book to go and read as well, yeah? Okay. This episode, WH Smith again. You get me? The autobiography of Malcolm X. Mm. You get me? I ain't read that one yet. Yeah, nah. I'm more... Look for I more um, pick Malcolm over um, Martin Luther. But I rate both of them. Okay. Obviously, Malcolm, Malcolm was a tugs. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> you know them ones. They're not Obviously. like that, but he's one of us. You know? Yeah, like, I get. It. He was like, but yeah, five. boom. No me- any means necessary, but yeah, mm. boom. Written with the assistance of Alex Haley. You know, Alex Haley wrote Roots. Oh really? Oh, yeah, that's okay. where I remember his name. Oh, okay. Still, that's okay. where I remember his name. Uh, but yeah, boom. Malcolm X's blazing legendary autobiography completed shortly 
before his assassination in 1965, depicts a remarkable life, a child born into rage and despair, who turned to street hustling and cocaine in the Harlem ghetto, followed by prison, mm -hmm. where he converted to Islam and honed the energy and brilliance that made him one of the most important political figures of his time mm -hmm. and an icon in ours. Mm -hmm. It also charts the spiritual journey that took him beyond militancy and led to his murder in a powerful story of transformation, redemption and betrayal. Vilified by his critics as an anti-white demagogue, Malcolm X gave a voice to unheard African Americans, bringing them pride, hope and fearlessness and remains an inspiration and controversial figure today. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Autobiography of Malcolm X, you yeah. get me? Love that. That's so funny that you um, chose that one because I've been watching, what's that Godfather program? Godfather Harlem. Godfather mm. Harlem. Listen, Malcolm you need to watch that, you know, spray so hard. That's mm. hard, it's hard. And Mal Mal yes. Mal 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 Malcolm X is in it. He's all over it. Mm. Muhammad Ali, it's, it's Bumpy Johnson's story. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I heard. I've heard. Have you watched, I've, 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 I've spoken to a couple of men, but they're like, yeah, they're not making Max, they're not having X off, like, you get me, they got him off as a, as a chief or something. I can't remember someone was saying something to yeah. me. Though. No, I need right. to watch it. They were like, nah, man, they're not having my man. Or is it, or is it Bumpy John? One of them, though, they're not portraying him properly. But, Do you reckon? But no, I, I don't, don't know. know. I maybe, maybe. It. Well, Bumpy Johnson, think, it might be X because, no, of, the way how X, he, Bump, because of the X way how he... Because of the way how he... In real life, X was I way more, more serious, serious than how they... Yeah, It was X. He doesn't know what it was. I think it's X. I know that, I know that. Because I've not even watched it and that's what my life did down here. You get what I'm saying? So was on smoke. Forget that. Go and read his real story. You get what I'm saying? Go and read Malcolm X's yeah, real cool. story. He was, yeah, yeah, he was more... Uh, in man real told life, me, he was on smoke. You get what I'm saying? Man told me they're not depicting... Him it's more about bumpy there. story. It's so, more bumpy story. That's so why let me get Let me get my stuff for my chest, you know what I mean? please. This time with round. The, with, um... Last time I forgot to give Bushkin. Yeah, he got it. Well, I'm hoping I'll be getting it. I'm hoping I'll be getting my bits. No, he got his, but we forgot to give some on camera. I love it, man. I love it. Really, the most action come link me for one, you know? All right. You get me? I'll be wearing... Because this... Really the most is, a, it, it, for me, when mm. I see really the most, mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of real people, there's a lot of people that, you know, mm. but it's, I don't, I think a lot of people get mixed up what what, what being real is all about, mm. you know what I'm saying? Real doesn't have to necessarily mean coming from the streets. Of course. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Real doesn't necessarily mean what you've done on the streets or mm -hmm. where, you, you know, real, it just means who's real to themselves, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. RTM, come on. really the most, most real to myself. So, Yes, I understand. Yeah. come on, so come you on, know fam. the thing already. I always saw it and, and I thought, I thought, yeah, he got, he got, got a nice yeah, touch with that yeah. logo there. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. the podcast, it was like, it can't be called nothing else. Yeah. Come on. So yeah, no, thank you for this, man. Yeah, yeah. More than on, man. You made me leave it, what's up, yeah? yeah. Well, this is the first time you've given me something. No, don't take the piss, man. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks for coming on and keeping it real the most. This will help because, you know, sometimes I go into shops and I put on your mask. I'm like, mask on my dead, man. No, but we're cool now, innit? Until we go to the But now I can just put on a little mask and a little fashion thing. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll wear this. I'll oh, wear this. Respect I'll... for coming to you. Listen, man. thank yeah. you, man. I just want, like, you know, like, yeah, me and this guy here, when you see me and you see this guy, I've known him for, like, as school days. Yeah, we're we're going, so they come have on. to understand the journey. Come on, fam. It ain't just two on, guys fam. from the industry sitting down mm. talking, and this is, like, two guys yeah. that used to go to school together. Mm. So they have to understand, you know what I mean? Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's good. Man. It's a long yeah, journey. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah? respect. So man. look at us as big men. I like the growth. It's lit. Yeah, love that, man. Come on. Follow the queen. Bigger up, man. Cream. Amazing. Ice cream, the poster girl on Instagram. Yes. Come on. Yeah, follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray on Instagram. Still ain't got that back. But anyway, uh, follow me on Twitter at young underscore spray. I'm saying what I'm saying again. So, follow my brother. Yeah, it's official Maxwell D and Maxwell D1 on Twitter. Official Maxwell D on Instagram. Um, check out the new um, British Jamaican EP. I know we didn't touch on a lot on that, but it's, it's too much to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But check out the new EP that I just dropped, the dancehall side of me, British Jamaican EP. And yeah, yeah man, thanks for having me, guys. Come and on, big, thanks, You know what I mean? We'll push no, this as much lit. as we can. No, yeah. come on, man. So good, keep up the good work, man. Good episode, yeah. man. Good yeah. to see love, you. Love, yeah. love. Obviously, follow the page as well. Shit at RTM Podcast Show. Yeah. Yes. At RTM Clothing Original, www.realitymorals.com. You get me? We out. We out. We out. We out.